morning. <laughs> <laughs> we are at my house. Haven't seen me at my house in a while. Um, Haven't seen her anywhere for true, a while. True. You've got a really nice shot of my bar. We might have to move the table the next time we come. But um, we are in my kitchen. Uh, so full life happening around us. There is no blocking out any animals. There are full disclosure. There are four cats in this house. And... A dog that is new. So, um, for those of you that don't follow on Instagram, we did lose Watson uh, recently. So, we have our dear little Annabelle Lee. Um, so, she is in and out. Doesn't make a lot of noise, but she is. She's a quirky little pup. <laughs> so, um, it is the weekend before 24 Hours of Cross Stitch. But in true Jen fashion, I have scheduled my life to not coordinate with the, the set plans that I, I put out there. Um, so I'm actually going to be out of town next weekend. So my mom and I decided we should film now and do our marathon early so that we actually have it there for you guys to watch as you're doing your weekends so what we are going to be doing is we are we are here at my house i love that we are 24 hours of cross stitch in 2024 um so we are playing all things 24 like going in hardcore with the number connection this year at least i am um so we're going to watch 24 season one just because that's what we're going to do. Um, and we both picked projects that had 24 segments of them. So, or somehow are related to 24. Um, so that's the projects we're going to be working on. And then we figured, um, just because sometimes our exchange, I mean, we're funny. We know that. No, just kidding. You guys tell us we're funny. We don't know it. Um, but we figured just to kind of fill some of our time, we would kill a couple birds with multiple stones and um one stone how is that go kill two birds with one stone there we go kill multiple birds with all stones i don't know <laughs> um so that we figured we would uh join in my whip parade and um that's so much easier for me because then she's here to help me put them away and i'm not left with 163 whips just in Unpacked. out of bags and everywhere um so we're going to be doing that. I, I keep my whips, well, I kept my whips organized by designer and it wasn't really working for me. So I had put a poll up on Instagram yesterday asking whether folks wanted to see a parade by designer or chronologically by start date. Um, I think more chronologically by start date and that's how all my spreadsheets and everything like that are organized. So I was happy when it came back that people liked it that way. So we spent last night with a couple of bottles of wine um, reorganizing all of my whips into chronological order. So we're going to be going chronologically through, um, but we're going to give ourselves a little bit more time to wake up because we've had some adventures already this morning when I didn't know where all the materials were and just she was not really sure why she was even at my house. And, you know, <laughs> it was just did. just one of those, our our. Uh, it's really cold here. It's really windy. So hopefully we won't lose power. But uh, she's downstairs in our basement. But our <laughs> it's, it's a really nice basement. Oh, it is. Yeah. But the, the bathroom, bathroom down there doesn't have heat. But so it's the cutest it's, bathroom. It's a really it's so cute. awesome in the bathroom. But it's <laughs> like freezing cold. So what they did when they built it was they put in heated lamps. So, oh. but... Yeah, so any of them that are on the timer in there are all a heat source. So you have to just turn them on and then they'll they'll click off. She apparently didn't remember this feature of my house. So it's been years. So um but yeah, so she's staying in the very cold basement. Makes you go quickly. That's for sure. <laughs> so we not want to take a shower um, down there. Yeah. So we're going to show you what we're going to be working on our stitching. So this is one of my whips. You're seeing one now. It will be the only I ha also have two at her house, so I won't be showing those because it's gross and I'm not going to have my dad bring them over. Um, so I will go ahead and show you what I'm going to be stitching. I don't have the pattern, so you're going to have to wait until the next segment for me to show you what it's actually supposed to look like. I'm not moving to go get it. I'll move to go get it. Well, you want to show? It. It's okay. I okay. don't want to have to have some multiple segments. Well, I can st I can talk and do mine since she's going. Um, I am doing Mary Beale, Days of Advent, and <laughs> this was like I don't even okay no, you can see it. Um, 
This is from way back in the early 80s, late 70s probably. And it is 20, I mean, so there's no colored, there's no colored cover or anything for this. Um, and there's 24 pictures throughout the Bible of it. And I'm going to put them all on one thing. And you can see in this, this taller, taller thing on the side, she suggested that. And there's someone on the internet, I'll get the name, I should have gotten it before, that I've been seeing her do it on in Instagram that's just amazing she's doing it all on one piece i however when i went to get the fabric and they do four across and six down and each one of them are 75 by or almost 80 by 100 it's just about what the count is 75 by 97. um so it was long but the fabric i had was not going to work it that way so i'm actually and i think i'm going to like it better i'm doing six across and four down so it'll be more like that and it's gonna you know going that way yeah, so, so we don't have another like long one like i did when i did the jenny bean for her mm -hmm. that was pretty long because it was going to be almost 36 inches long i'm doing it on a um 36 count or 35 count raw so she got her outer border in. raw uh linen 35 count and I actually just put in the line for where the because there's just a straight line will mm -hmm. be in between it. so I thought I put that in so I had that marking that's the only thing I started on it and I'll start up in this corner and uh, she does and it's, she'll stitch the half so she's using DMC right. so she does full rows um, but she's got the half and then she will cross every 10 every 10 so she to help knows me her keep, count is yes and that wasn't my idea i think you told me about I it i think i had seen someone seen doing somebody it. doing it on instagram said oh that makes so much more sense than mm -hmm. having to mark it with pins or something so i just do cuz i i stitch in hand and i go do my bottom stitch first and then every 10 and what i also do which you probably don't even know is according to my chart now i couldn't really do it with this but if they're like four stitches and then on my grid, there's a grid line when I'm following a pattern, I'll start with four and mark it so that then my X, the one I crossed, is always on the grid line. So it's a marker for me to I don't think I understand be able that. to, no, you probably wouldn't. I'll have to show it to you. A lot of times it, she describes things and they just don't compute. They don't click. Um, if I mark that x uh -huh. then i can go down here and see oh that r has got to be underneath that that it's in mm -hmm. the right spot it's a way oh, okay. of marking because okay. that's the tenth thing mm -hmm. you know and i can make sure okay nobody else can see that it's also done <laughs> and you know if anybody knows me i'm just dmc or i very mm -hmm. seldom use anything but she and i had pulled and converted she uses the npi mm -hmm floss and i had Four converted chains. all of the numbers to dmc and then when i saw this ladies mm -hmm. on instagram again i'm thinking let me try the soap oh well i'm in love with the mm -hmm. soap colors mm -hmm. so i they're just uh, a little deeper they're and... deep yeah they're just gorgeous mm -hmm. and also you know if i ever want to convert to dmc it's easier seeing that color for me to mm -hmm. know what dmc color it is so i'll be using the the silks for our first time. Mm -hmm. I just actually did a Christmas one, Wise Men, from this piece, just as a single piece that I posted on Instagram a mm -hmm. while ago. I finished several months ago. But anyway, that's my story, as long as it was. Sorry. So I wasn't sure what I was going to do, do because originally I was thinking, okay, so the theme of the planner this year is bucket lists. What could I do that would connect it to that? And I couldn't really think of anything that was going to be, so I decided I wanted to keep it more with the 24-24, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so I was looking through my whips, and I'm thinking it would be really nice to have something that had the 24 parts. I really liked what she was saying she was going to do. And I realized I had this piece that I had started, 
by the sampler company, um, which is it's a sampler story. And I had started it and there's 24 boxes. And I was like, well, that's kind of cool. That way maybe I can do it. So I'm, I'm going to go through and do a little bit of customization on it. Like there's one box that has sweet oranges. Well, oranges aren't anything for me. So I'm changing it to pear trees, um, you know, because that's my maiden name is Baronbaum. And that means pear tree. So I have a thing for pears. Um, there's a block that has a house and a number in it. Like it had just had 15. So I changed it to 24. Um, there's a there's a king in one of them. I haven't decided if I how I want that. I mean, Hamilton's really big for us. So I don't know if there's some like, I don't know. I don't know. But I mean, most of the other ones really kind of fit mm. for my world and my life and don't seem that. Far change off. the color of the house if you wanted to. I already started the house. Oh, um, well, there's multiple houses. Right, but, the one house I um, like So, anyway, this is um, where I'm at on it. So, I've only worked on it once or twice. And I'm going to be plugging away on that. I believe, I can tell you what the linen is. I'm just using DMC. And I'm stitching it on 40 count pecan butter by Lakeside. Um, so it's, it's not huge. It's, uh, 295 by 199. So it's a large project in my, I mean, it's, it's just on the cusp of almost being a big ass project, mm -hmm. but it's, mm -hmm. um, it's still, according to my size category, it's a 247 big ass project starts at 250 for me. Yeah. So it's pretty close. Um, so I'll see. And then I don't know what I'll do. Because are you going to plan to work on that every marathon we do? Um, I'm thinking mm -hmm. I will, but not just limited to. I'll see how I do with it throughout the year. You know, I'd mm -hmm. really like it to be done. And if I just do, because I don't know if I'll be able to finish one. There's a lot of stitching in her thing. Some of them, some of them there isn't. So I don't know if I'll be able to finish more than one block, being that they're 75 mm -hmm. by 95, because some are almost full coverage. So, <clears throat> and I'd rather, I'd like to get it done by I the mean, end of the what, year. I mean, because what are the, um, you figure the dimensions of a Hawk Run block is 92 by 92. Right. So it's about that size. One and a half. Yeah, well... Yeah. Yeah, about one and a half. If you multiplied the two of them together, the, the hawk runs bigger mm -hmm. because it's twenty stitches mm -hmm. by ninety, which would. And be I mean, I one. I can do one of those blocks, even full coverage, in a week. Well, right, but on what I'm saying is, I can't just do it during this weekend. Finish yeah. one. Yeah. So if I mm -hmm. just stitch, I'm only going to have four done during the year yeah. during twenty four. Whereas if then I feel like I want to continue and stitch between now and the next one and get mm -hmm. three of them done or four of them done, however many I figure with each thing I continue and, and get mm -hmm. some other ones done, maybe I'd love to finish it mm -hmm. in 24. Um, yeah, like I did do your some Jenny unofficial B. marathons too. Yeah. Yeah. And do. I'm just not. Or like because some half this, marathons. We could do some like half marathons. Yeah, yeah. Where we do like a 12-hour. Overnight. And I, yeah. You know, or yeah, just a day. On the, and, the months that aren't. Yeah. Maybe we'll do uh, that. But, and her charts too are all hand. Mm -hmm, so it makes it harder. <laughs> so it's hard. They're hard. It, the, the iPad, because I scan everything, so it's on the iPad. That that makes it tremendously a lot easier than the the paper even in trying to enlarge it on the paper uh, but it is a little tricky with some of her symbols when they're all handwritten um, like that so it's not as easy to mm -hmm. stitch as quickly because you're having to be careful but uh, I've done so many of her things because I love her so mm -hmm. um, yeah I'm excited to get it going and get some colors in I'd really like to get over I'm not happy that I should have started it backwards, but then I would have had to count six and made sure mm -hmm. I had the sixth one, place them in order more carefully than just following the pattern now. First mm -hmm. one is obviously Garden of Eden, which I like the beginnings. To, uh, that's what I've been stitching mm -hmm. in January anyway, all my Adam and Eve. So. Yeah. 
So with the whip parade, we went and put them in order, and I keep all my whips in bins. So we have about eight bins full of whips, and then I also have a bin and a half full of finishes from 2023. Um, so we haven't decided if we're going to show them or do a separate video with them, um, or if we're going to be just checked out from talking about projects. <laughs> we're not really sure. Uh, we've never attempted anything this, this big. So our plan is that we're going to break it up for ourselves. So we're going to go stitch for... We're figuring since there's eight, maybe three episodes and then come back and do a bin and then go back and stitch some more. Um, we'll see how well this works. <laughs> Hopefully that we don't, that we lose, don't lose power. power. Um, so and I, I will turn some better lighting on, too, as well. I, I forgot to turn the light on behind me. I think that will help with when we're showing things. Okay. So um, or we can bring out the ring light if we need to. So. It was quite a hectic morning because I yes, was, was not as prepared. You know, you would think that I yes, know what I'm were. doing and I yes, couldn't find were. a thousand things. No, and no, 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 no. <laughs> Mom, Mom's just talking to Annabelle like, what am I doing here? Why am I not at my house? <laughs> in my own bed. With a warm bathroom. <laughs> I heard yes, that comment. Yeah. Um, so we're going we're gonna to go stitch and get some more coffee. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. How <laughs> do I still have no concept of how much I can stitch at a sitting? Oh my gosh. We watched three episodes, so I mean, 45 minutes. We didn't stop them in between, but you know, we're counting those as three hours, you know, mm -hmm. with stops and this stuff. I, I, I only worked on grid and I already had the top six done. So I finished the bottom six and over, to, but I just can't believe how long that took. Hmm. Right? Yeah, I know. I know. I know. That's why I don't do mine all at once, because it takes too long. Then when they're double lines. I know. So I got my first... Uh, and got over to the side, so then I just put my line down. I just did one thread. Sorry, I'm put stopping. My line. Hi. I'm trying to get lighting right. I, I need to figure out my filming spot in this house. Oh, Look at good. her. <laughs> um, it's hard, though, because with the windows in here, then the light outside plays a factor and everything. So we've gotten it as good as I think we're going to get it right now. So anyway, we did three episodes. So 45 minute episodes, so not quite three hours, but that's how we're marking our time with this. Um, I did all grid lines and got no progress. It feels like, um, I already had the first six boxes done and then I did the bottom six and got over a little bit. I don't know. How many thread pulls was it? It's a lot, but my, my, um, that one is cut shorter than typical. Mm -hmm. So it's not, you don't know how many. And it's get. not like I can just do the outside and be good because there's a space yeah, in between right. every one. Right. So I really have to, I was like, oh, look, I have these in. I just have to get the, out. no, mm -hmm. cause you still really have to count every individual. Mm -hmm. Um, so I haven't decided if I'm going to just keep doing grid or if I'm going to try to move on to something a little more fun might do an episode grid two episodes fun and back and forth but then i just kind of want to get the grid done so then i go back and forth mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> all right so i on the other hand <laughs> we have to I... show them this side that you're looking <laughs> oh that's a good side Let's yeah see my back so neat <laughs> all right so i got over i got all the way across um to the cut to the line mm -hmm. so i just went down started going down because that will be the same for all four mm -hmm. rows but I, I didn't and i counted so i know that was 80 mm -hmm. stitches with one mm -hmm. thread pull so i know on this fabric with the silk and the length that mm -hmm. it is i can get 80 stitches in yeah pretty much unless i'm skipping around mm -hmm. um so i got the clouds up there and adam and eve and yeah. starting to get it it's stitching doesn't look like that much, but it was. I mean, the first episode, I didn't mm -hmm. quite get all the clouds done. I thought I'd be able to get the outline of the clouds. Mm -hmm. There's two more colors of that. So it's <clears throat> so I'll have to use my chart for at least 
one more time and then it can just be fill in that I don't have to look at. Okay, here comes some whips. We're gonna just go through. We're starting with my oldest. Um, I have gotten it so that my oldest whips are starting in 2019. So I have officially finished everything that was started when I lived in Pennsylvania. Um, so I only have whips that are Ohio starts now, which is pretty, I thought pretty good considering mm -hmm. I've been a pretty massive starter, you know, not, not for, not as much as 222, but, um, and every year I put a challenge to myself to finish my oldest whip. So this year I want this one done. And this one was started during the first 24 hour marathon. <laughs> was it really? Yeah. yeah. And, um, cause this was the one that I decided at our like, <laughs> um, 18 consecutive oh. that I was oh, going to do black. over one on, on black. black. Yeah. So, um, this is, uh, what is it called? The Golden Rule by the Stitcher Hood. Mm -hmm. And I'm doing it on a Jobelin mm -hmm. by what? It is a Stitcher Hood. I thought I it was a Sisterhood. <laughs> Stitcher. We were doing all of the, I had her calling the patterns for me last night, and I swear every single day she had <laughs> wrong. And I know she knows that. Right. Just, <laughs> Notting Hill Farm. <laughs> Notting Hill. Um, so this is where I am on this one. I, I honestly haven't picked it up much. It's in the Q snap because I'm doing over one. Um, just the DMC colors. You've stitched this. Uh-huh. Um, so that is my oldest. And that was started, like I said, first marathon, 2 to 19. And there's no card for this one. No, there won't be cards for anything until 222. The next up is All Creatures by Barbara Anna. And I have worked on this one briefly, um, but it was a madness start. That first madness I had when I moved to Ohio, I started a lot of really big projects. Mm -hmm. Um, so this is being stitched on 40 count vintage sand dune with the DMC. So I have through there done. Next up, this is a, it was out of print. I think they just re-released it. Um, birds of a feather don't have the original chart in here, but this is birds of a feather, blackbird. No. Yeah. <laughs> it's birds of a feather by blackbird designs. Uh, I interrupt. Yes. <laughs> you like this in front of the pattern, I not do. behind. <laughs> okay. Just making that clear. <laughs> there are some things mom and I do still do very differently. <laughs> I like to see my pattern in my little I like view. to see what stitching I've done. Yeah. She this also year, folds it fold. that way, and I fold yes. it this way. Right, so that I've my never stitching had, doesn't get so. I've never had any damage stitching. Well, lucky you. <laughs> so this is where I am on this one. I really one. like that one. The colors are gorgeous. I know. Well, it's one that I probably, if I would have started it later and known more, I would have done it with the NPIs. Um, mm -hmm. Just because of, like, the variegation you see there, mm -hmm. you don't see in the, the top flowers with the DMC as much. Um, like, they just look. And then these two, there's a lot, you have to circle them, like there's back stitching mm. around the, and I, you know me, I don't really like mm. back stitching, so I'll decide whether I want to. And then the legs of the birds are over one, and, or they they're like, long. They won't weird kind of things. Um, dead man, oh crap, oh, dead man's yeah. chest by Plum Street. Uh, that is out of print. And if you stitch this on 32 counts, <laughs> what? I think I was holding it, but I don't even think you could see it. Okay. Yeah, it's down. Down there, Dead Man's Chest. If you stitch it on 32 count, it's the um, playable chessboard size. So I am doing that. Uh, I have all the grid done on this one. And I'm doing it with DMC, but there's a lot of over one. Um, so it's going to be a full coverage piece, but then a lot of the, the squares, the writing is going to be over one. 
Um, so I haven't really decided how I'm going to do that yet. I don't know. I'm stitching it on 32 count exemplar by Lakeside. My early stuff, it's a lot of like Lakeside and um, because it was easier to get your hands on back then than it is these days. Annabelle, drinking some water? <laughs> uh, City Stitcher, the Weeping Tree Sampler. I love City Stitcher, but she does a whole lot of specialty stitches typically in her stuff. And I do not really love this fabric choice. Um, I stitched uh, Hawk Run, the map of Hawk Run Hollow on this. So I tend not to pull it out, but I do want it done. So I'll convert probably most of the specialty stitches to X's. Um, That's what I do. Yeah. So it's 32 count light mocha. And I, I typically don't do a lot on 32 count, mm. so it's rare, you know, I have a hard time pulling things out. With one strand or two? Two. We're doing two? I mean, that was started back in 2019. Mm -hmm. It was really before we were doing one strand on 32. You, I, I still pretty much, I don't stitch on 32 that much, but I still. Do you want generally, the pattern out? Oh, uh, is there a picture? I don't know that you're going to have a full picture. You're not oh, going probably. to with that. Yeah. Um, this is Serenity Harbor by the Bay. Uh, I'm toying with trying to get a section completed each month on this, but I think I'm overshooting what I can do in a month. Um, this is just on Lambswell, 40 count Lambswell. Um, so it was released in 12 parts as a sal. And... If you chunk it down, I mean, you can get a right. get a section done. But I've also I'm wanting to do that for Shores of Hawk Run, mm -hmm. and the Prairie Schooler Alphabet. And so I think if I add this into that, I'm going to end up only doing those things mm -hmm. and not. Mm -hmm. So I think this may wait till next year to be mm -hmm. the added into my monthly. This one, I don't think I have much left, but um, my floss ran out, and so I'm having to kind of play around. This is a Twisted Blessings Irish, or Twisted Threads Irish Blessing. Um, stitching mm, it on 40 count vintage sand dune by Lakeside, and I ran out of the green. So the green I'm using is Dried Time by Gast, and it, you can maybe see this piece is very variegated and that does not match what I had been stitching with. Um, so I'm trying, and when you buy Dried Time now, it's not, it's a much solider variegation, not so stark. Um, so I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so... It's one of those things when you start a project, try to have all the floss you're going to need for it because it is hard to get them later. Um, we were pulling all this stuff last night, and so all of my all my projects are pretty much in a coordinated project bag for some sort of rhyme or reason. And so mom would call a project, and I'd be going to try to find it, and she just looked at me. She's like, we made so many coordinated project bags. And you don't even look at them when you're looking for right. your projects. You are only looking for... In the front. Of course, mm -hmm. I'm sitting, so I'm seeing the back. But And it would be my inclination just to look for... If it's coffee, then I know it's going to be she's got a coffee bag. But so there's I'm some looking. that it's not. I it's know. Like, you know. Most of them, it oh. is. And a forest grew by uh, Rosewood Manor. Um, this is one I'm toying with starting over on different really? fabric. Mm -hmm. I don't have that much done. Mm -hmm. I saw right after I started this, and I don't remember who it is right now, started it on a dark fabric. Mm. And it was so different and so cool that it kind of, I mean, I really like it. I just yeah. think I saw hers and was like, oh, mm. um, had a little envy. Um, I'm going to be changing the inside. It It's a verse from the Bible about the tree of knowledge. Um, I am actually, I think I'm going to change it to that poem by uh, Kevin from DC Talk. Oh. <laughs> There's a poem. It's like, wilt thou, wilt me, wilting why, mm. something. And then they say weeping willow in it. So I think I'm going to 
Where's the floss? It's in a different bag because it oh. has like 10,000 skeins of floss for it. So this is one I would really like to get some work on this year. I've actually recharted a whole lot with this. Um, so Autumn on Lazy Bear Mountain. I, um, I'm i going to be, I, I have a room in our house that's now kind of gothic-y horror-ish. And we're trying to like really go with that. And I feel like this could just be up all the time in that sort of room. Mm -hmm. um, so instead of having it be like a memorial morning sampler for people in my life, I'm going to have it be for Poe. Um, and I'm going to, I've changed the tombstones to say like, Edgar Allan Poe and Virginia Poe, his wife, mm. and then I've recharted the um, children, whatever, weep not for me, my children dear, to something like, even in the grave, all is not lost, which is a Poe okay. quote, and then I'll probably, I'm thinking of doing like a raven in between the two angels, um, instead mm. of the words there. And I had done a conversion for this. It is available in my Instagram link tree if you want it. It's not perfect, um, but I did a conversion to Gast. So the oranges are really hard. The yellows are really hard. But it's on 36 count autumn gold by Lakeside. Mom and I both started this one together. It's one she'd like to get finished this year. We'll see if I can pull mine back out, which is A Savior's Praise by Shakespeare's Peddler. I am stitching this on a 40 count cedar plank by Lakeside. And I'm recharting it again to be um, lyrics from Come Thou Fount, which is my favorite hymn. So, um, and I'll do the bottom part to be the, the one verse that I really like from there. So the first top will be the come thou fount and then down under will be the prone to wander verse. And I'm just using DMC for that. This one is cardinal points. And I am using my grandmother's floss for this. So I had found after she died, um, she had left me a cigar box or she had left a cigar box full of old vintage floss. Um, they're Lily and Star. So I'm using, I converted the, the outside to be that. I haven't really decided what I'm doing with the inside yet. Mm -hmm. um, because I probably will have it be somehow converted to something that reminds me of her. Mm -hmm. um, so. It's really pretty. Oh, it is really, really pretty. pretty. And I'm doing it on 40 count star flower by Lakeside. So there's like a little pink in the fabric. Mm -hmm. It's a really pretty fabric. And then I'm just, all the greens for the vines and stuff I did just stash dived for. Um, a couple more and then we will take a break. These are still all um, from 2019. This is Jack's Bash by Plum Street. And I am stitching this one on a 46 count, properly primitive, but I think under the C maybe. And I'm using the uh, gentle arts and everything for that, whatever it's called for. Um, Fire Burn and Cauldron Bubble. This was in a Halloween edition of Just Cross Stitch. It's in ink circles. Um, little. This is on 32 count as well. This was by, um, dyed by Laura from Slavic Farms.
And then this is actually, it broke us pretty good because this is the last start of 2019. And the last one will show right now. And this one I had actually started earlier. I had started and I had, this is Be Ye Thankful by Cross-Eyed Cricket. My mom has this stitched. Um, and I, I do really like it. So I had started this, I got this far, and I really didn't like the fabric. I didn't, it's 35 count. Um, Confederate gray, or just gray by Weeks Dye Works. And, um... I did not like the two strands on it. I just wasn't enjoying it. So I restarted it on a, was it 50 count, 46, just a 46 count raw. But I don't really like this linen either. It's that big piece <laughs> that you had. Um, oh, and it's oh. just a hard, I don't know. So I'm liking the, the pat, I'm liking how it's looking better and then it's different than what my mom did because hers is going to be normal size and mine will be a little bit more mm -hmm. petite oh, yeah. um so yeah i haven't worked on it in a long time you can see i must have been trying to use a hoop because i must mm -hmm. not have been able to get my flow going um we're seeing it the 46 the holes are kind of small it's just a really tight mm -hmm. i think i'm using this for engravers chart too and i just don't or it may not even be true to count 46. Yeah. We had gotten a big piece. You have it too, because you've stitched some yeah. on it and don't like yeah, it. Yeah. So it's it's just not my favorite linen. Yeah. Um, so we'll see. So that is all I have over here now. Um, but yeah. Good. A, a start anyway of seeing mm -hmm. what is in my whip pile. Um, again, that took us through 2019 starts. <laughs> We are now in 2024. <laughs> we did find one whip that I didn't have on a list to last night. That's pretty amazing. That when it you... was only one? Yeah. 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 That she's so organized and... Because ask my mom, is my house organized? No. 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 <laughs> well, I, I mean, they're organized in the tub as far as the room. <laughs> When we walked in last night to do she it, it's almost like, had a heart attack. We need another glass of wine before we start this because there are piles, there are there are tough there are crates, but then there were piles and it's like we've gotta organize all these houses. And I found help. them all. But she did I knew exactly she where the they were. And she knew because they were all by designers and even the piles that were out of the tubs she knew where the pile was and i mean it didn't take us that long it really we didn't spend an hour and they're yeah. doing it but to get them all organized by dates and of course mm -hmm. she had her spreadsheet which was tremendously organized yeah so she keeps asking me she's like so i have my whip list in my planner what do i how do you do it I'm like i don't <laughs> like i do you know if i had a manageable amount of whips to write in the planner i probably would but i've used a spreadsheet since 29 2018 I think yeah. and so I have it and I'm meticulous with keeping it updated which is why I'm really surprised I didn't have one on there but well um, and, and using the planner I have to carry it over mm -hmm. then every year and I wasn't sure I mean I only ended up with 12 whips at the end of this year I had 22 last year because they ended up and it was her 22 22 and so I had it was ironic that I did that, mm -hmm. but I've had like 63 finishes because I have a lot of starts. So mm -hmm. I always mark down my starts, but I didn't know at what point when I was then counting up, I had taken, because on my start sheet that I marked the date I start, there's also date finish. And mm -hmm. I tend to go there to mark the finish yeah. date. And I don't tend to take them and put them on the whip list if I know I'm going to be doing them. Mm -hmm. I don't, didn't know at what point. You change them from the start thing over to the whips, mm -hmm. and I've decided at the end of the year anything left on my starts will then mm -hmm. be a whip. And I, I tend guess. to use my planner more for the things that I'm only working on that year, mm -hmm. um, just because I have a, I have a system for keeping yeah. track of all of them. So, but I like to make note of when I've touched things. Like, have I stitched on this since? You know, when was the last time? And it used to be I did all the hashtags on Instagram. So I had QNS, you know, a Savior's Praise. So I could go up and I could see and pull up every time I posted about it. But they've kind of ruined changed, all the algorithms. Yeah, right. And you can't see everything anymore. You can't anymore. see everything. Yeah. So. 
But in um, big projects like this Advent one, I'll probably, I'd have it on my start, the date mm-hmm. so I started. I probably will put it over on the whip, although I want to try to finish it this year. Yeah. But I'll move it to the whips just figuring, because I can always erase mm-hmm. it and take it off when I finish those of you it. that have the planner, so I have, there is a, like, starts and finishes, but then there's also a comprehensive whip list. Because I find that I like to have a spot to write all the whips that are current, but they may not be worked on this year. So then I used to also have another whip list that was for like just writing down the ones you were working on this year. But I think it was confusing people. So I took that one away and now I'm just confusing her. (laughs) Well, and she, now, she's like, where is this list, Jen? <laughs> yeah. Well, because this year's planner, I love it's so awesome. Um, she is the digital up, one, you know, right? It's set up differently than the others because I knew right where to go to find my whips and finishes <laughs> and the starts and the frames. And I haven't played with it enough since it's just the beginning. I didn't change really things do up anything. on people and get it. Yeah, all and it's like, up. where do I find? How do, how do, how I, do I get that? Get where is it? Where is that? I did get a message on Etsy about it as well. So yeah. you know, and it was it was a purposeful deletion on my part to say, I don't want to confuse people, but yeah. I also think I'm confusing people by trying to make it simpler. Right. So. And see, now I've started on my iPad that have all my patterns in that I'm stitching on. I have a folder that has all my mm-hmm. whips in it. Yeah. So if I start, like I started that Advent one, that'll go in the whips. Anything mm-hmm. I start new, although that one went in 24, but anything, even if I know it's mm-hmm. a short one I'm going to finish, I put it in whips to know where it's at when I want to go. Well, to and so with me, I have them all categorized by start date, actually, which mm-hmm. is that's how I keep because I, I scan all of my patterns and then I load them into Goodreads, no, Good Notes. And I, um, I keep them in folders. So I have a folder that's whips pre 2022. And then I have monthly start folders for 2022. Mm. And so I can still say, yeah, this was started in January or this was started Mm. in September because I, I had a, such a, I spent so much time organizing 222 that they really are kind of ingrained in my head as to this was the alphabet start for July. Like, and so I, I pretty much know, um, it's getting a little harder to find them, but. Well, it's a lot less because you have a lot less of them than you did. It's, but it's funny because I feel like these are the ones that haven't resonated with me as much. Mm. So I don't know if that's why they're still sitting because Mm. I don't know. It's going to be really interesting for me to pull them all back out because I haven't thought about some of them in a while Mm -hmm. um but for the most part they're all ones that i still want to finish and Mm -hmm. still want to do just we were talking about it last night i think i want to get to like under 50 whips i think that would make me feel that's like a manageable number i don't know the 163 like still feels like too many Mm -hmm. you know like Mm -hmm. but i i struggle because i want to I don't want to leave all the big projects until the very end and and then only have big projects left. So that's why I'm trying to do like a block of a hawk run piece every month and a block, you know, break some of those big ones down. Mm -hmm. So I know there's progress being made. But then in the same vein, I have 60 some medium sized projects. And so I want to make sure that I'm still getting to them, which is why I don't think I want to say that I'm going to work on by like by the bay, the Serenity Harbor, because... I think it's going to limit me to getting finishes. And last year with my finishes, I finished 56 projects, but I counted 11 of them were blocks from Hawk Run because I finished them individually. This year, each one of those blocks isn't going to count as a finish. So my finish amount is going to deplete when I'm really stitching the same amount. Right. But it will be counted as one big-ass project instead of 11 smalls. You know, so... Um, I don't know my head you know I just the things that like I get caught up on <laughs> and then and she's talking about stuff last night I'm like I don't understand what you're saying right, right. so I, I imagine that that's how you guys are sometimes <laughs> when I start going on and the well I can't do this and I have to do it this way and I don't know my head's a scary place mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
So anyway, we're going to go watch three more episodes and I'm going to decide if I'm staying in grid hell or um, mm, yeah. <laughs> moving on. And uh, I think I might need a break from gridding. Mm. So, okay. Bye. Bye. Hi. All right. She's fading fast. I've already I, asked her. She needs a nap. I just made a cup of coffee. Well, that doesn't mean you're not fading fast. <laughs> I just, I'm tired of good work. Well, that's your own fault. It is, because you remember how we talked about <laughs> marking spots and, like, doing a little X trick, and then she had that other thing that I, she has since explained again, but I still, it's not, she just, I don't really get it. Um, I still worked on good work, and I didn't do that, and therefore, this line right here only had 46, and it was supposed to have 47 in this block here, so this didn't match with that, so I had to go back and tear out, and... Now it matches, and I have all the long lines. Well, almost all the long lines. And I'm just finishing the grid, because now I'm just going to finish it. Okay. Well, I got the tree, the leaves, and the tree in. Mm -hmm. um, this was our second time, right? It was three hours, yeah. Three more hours six hours total right so mm -hmm. the tree the snake is around it it's a little hard to see because it's gray I'm not sure why but the snake is there uh, and I started some on the ground and I just go all over the place to make sure everything's counted right mm -hmm. I'm going to rip out the Adam and Eve I didn't like that color Mm -hmm. when I put it on because mm -hmm. I thought it was not as dark as what the picture looked like anyway I because I went to the lady in right Japan that's doing it and then when I there was writing, writing going to be underneath mm -hmm. the tree mm -hmm. there and how is that going to happen? <laughs> Because this okay. is green, that's not border. Right, right, right. Okay, because there's writing. And it's X. So all the writing that she uses is this color. And that you don't is like it. no. Yeah. No, so I'm, which there's not that much to rip out. Mm -hmm. So I'll do the other color. I'm going to pick another. Mm -hmm. I already saw the other color that I've used for her other things that she uses. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I pulled up the picture to kind of check some of the colors because I wasn't really crazy about the snake either to see but you know all the Sometimes floss for I the, think it's the fabric well and the floss I know but I'm I'm uh, so <laughs> that's it <laughs> that's all I'm saying about that not understanding why people really like watching I don't, I'm, I don't think I'm not really sure either I think we're, we're kind of negative I know we're, we're not really that fun anymore. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Well, okay. Okay, we're going on with the whips. Okay, so like I said, we finished 2019. So this was my first start of 2020. And this is Quaker Seasons of Friendship by Crown and Thistle. And I have decided that I... Here, you go. <laughs> I am stitching it on 40 count pecan butter by Lakeside. Shut up. So I have this corner done. Why are you laughing now? <laughs> I'll tell you in a moment. <laughs> I have this part done, but then I've decided that instead of having it all be monochromatic, and this is partially because I didn't buy enough of the one color, um, and also because I think it's a good idea. I am doing um, each, <laughs> shut up. Instead of doing it all, the, the green is Otter Creek by um, Gast. So that's the winter color. And then I'm gonna do um, Brethren Blue as the summer. spring or summer, I forget what it is. Sarsaparilla as fall and the red as spring or summer. I think 
I don't remember. I had it figured out. So I'll do it like that. Why were okay. you laughing? What, what I was chuckling about, people. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> okay. You can take this those out when we find was out. another little project that she, before she came up with what, the planner and stuff. We got all these little notebooks, which are pretty cool. Oh, Traveler's I notebooks. Where we tra- Traveler's, oh, that's right. Yeah, Michael's. Amazon. Or Am- oh, Amazon. These were we Amazon. Found and so she, she had one in every project bag. I know this was back time. during the time of like challenge stitching where you counted your yeah. stitches. And so that was the way I was marking how often and how many stitches I was doing on a project. So on 120, I made 801 stitches on this project. I don't count stitches anymore. Um, so now I have all of these notebooks that, are in that have like right. one page written on. Oh, and you know what? Yeah. I will never use them now. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Oh, no. <laughs> because there no, is right. one page one written page. on it. Yeah. And now it is yep. dead to really? me. Okay. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Do you really not want it in here? I really don't. It just makes just more take room enough space. on the right. I know. that. Well, take I think... these out and take magnet boards out. I guess when okay. we come across them, because I don't use magnet boards anymore. Oh goodness! This one, a stitcher sampler by Primitive Hair. Um, I think I've talked about this before, but there is an error on the chart. Um, Isabella is not English native language. Um, and so she charted it and it says, my soul is feed um, with needle and thread. So she did um, put out a correction for that. And I think it was like on her website. So it's recharted for fed. And I, I saved the picture somewhere. I don't remember where, but um, I'll fix it when I come to it. Um, I'm stitching this with Garden Gate. I had to stop for a while because I didn't have enough garden gate. Yeah, so she she did it on her website and made the correction so you can print out for the, the correct um, fed instead of feed. So, um, so this is where I'm at on this one. These little bees take forever. Um, this I am stitching on 40 count cedar plank by lakeside see i told you there's a lot of lakeside heavy stuff at the beginning of my my projects this is uh, another one by the sampler company which is who i'm stitching today's project by. this is plant wisdom i love that row of houses and i love the alphabet in this one So I'm stitching this one on 36 count buttercream by Lakeside, mm -hmm. which I is like the little border with the berries. That's mm -hmm. going to be really, that's pretty. Mm -hmm. so, and I'm just color. using DMC with it. Um, it's what I stitched his eyes on the sparrow with. This is Sunflower Farm by Kathy Barrett. This was gifted to me um, because it was only available as a, like, I think it was a club purchase or something. So someone shared, but I, I changed the uh, fabric. So I'm stitching mm -hmm. it on um, 35 count Kansas City Blend by r, r So it's a very yellow. It's hard. It's not coming across true color. It's very yellow. Um, but it's got it's a very got gold yellow. Gold yellow, yellow. It's a, yeah. Yeah, it's not but caution light yellow. I think it's pretty. Oh, I do too. It's just R and R is sometimes not fun to stitch on. Yeah, I don't mind it because it's very it's similar to stiff. My and stiff I don't like, I like stiff. This is with the needle two by Lila Studio. And I'm stitching this all called for colors and I'm stitching it on 40 count exemplar, which is one of my favorite fabrics. It seems like this one just came out. I can't believe that mm -hmm. it's 
four years ago, three years ago that you started. This was started still in 20. Mm. Oh, there's a book in here. <laughs> This one I've contemplated pulling out. I actually contemplated doing it this weekend, um, but I need to think about it more. Pandemic by Long Dog. I am stitching this on 36 count. There's a book in this one too. Uh, 36 count pair by Lakeside. And I'm doing it a la Emily from, with her way she was doing Death by cross stitch where I'm doing each section a different color and blocking really out the um, the sections so what I did recently was I pulled up the pattern and I started just highlighting what sections I wanted in the base outline color because I think I'm using like 924 and then just subbing in with other things as I fill in um, but it's hard. Like, it's a very tedious process to go through because you really have to compare it to the board, mm. like the cover sheet yeah. and make sure. And then if, if you want both sides to match, because mm. some of them are symmetrical, but some isn't. And so it's just, I didn't want to get myself into a funk um, without it. So I'm using all stash dyed. <laughs> Shut up. She didn't want me to do it because she knew I would get grumpy and um she would have to deal with me not that she doesn't have to deal with me most of the time when i'm grumpy but you know um she can not talk to me on the phone so that's okay um but i'm using all stash floss which was a big feat until mm. i started to 22 and my stash grew <laughs> a lot so i have um i have a lot of floss to choose from now because mm. i have been slowly finishing some projects this is Rampant Cats. This one I started when we brought Porter and Ale home. This was my commemorating the addition of those two to our life. And I am stitching it on 40 count pearl barley. Also one of my favorite fabrics. I need to finish this one. I think why mm -hmm. I stopped it was because, again, I, I must have been very jealous of Emily in this season of my life because she had changed her angel to be dark, and I really like it better mm -hmm. because you really can't see it. And so I've gone back and forth with whether I wanted to make that change, and then I just, like, get paralyzed, and I stop <laughs> stitching on projects when I can't make the decision. So... This I started in on our 10th anniversary. Um, this is Ivy Wed by Prairie Moon. And so 10 is tin is the, you know, how they stand for things. Oh. So I'm stitching it on 40 count tin, tin roof, tin, yeah, tin roof by weeks. Um, Brandon got me uh, stitching stuff that related to... Tin. So he bought this fabric for me. And I'm doing a conversion in colors, and then I was going to do it all monochromatic. It's kind of been a nightmare. Um, I don't really remember what I'm doing with it, so <laughs> it's probably why I haven't pulled it back out. And then this piece, if you're following me on Instagram, has been out lately, and my goal is to be finishing a block every month. Um, I don't have the covers because there's like a bunch of booklets, nine booklets, yeah. um, but it's the Prairie Schooler alphabet. So I stitch left to right predominantly. So I'm doing a row down at a time. I've been working on the kitty block. Uh-oh. I just dropped it. Okay. And um, I will be finishing that block before the month is out. But you can, I mean, it's just massive. So... It's going to be a long, long project. And they're big. I mean, they're, I think they're about the size of a Santa, right? I think. Yeah, I have to. They're look. like 71 they're... by 100. All right. Well, that's Between the size 70 of my... and 71. Well, that's, that's what my. 72. Marie is. Yeah. 
Okay. 75 by 97. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, there's a lot of stitching in one of these. But there are, yeah. Um, so. That looks really good. And I'm doing it on 40 count um, vintage country mocha. So, it's just the base yeah. linen that was easy to yeah. use and knew we could get in bulk and wasn't going to be too strenuous to, to get. Um, again, doing the DMCs with that. Let's see. Here's all. They live in their own little project pack. This also started in 2020. No, this is now 2021. So that was my first start of 2021. This is P Pandemic Sampler by Sarsi Girl. I really like the linen for this one. This was my first time stitching on anything by X Jude. Um, and it is Dirt Road, 40 count. This was one I'm doing for Brandon, or I'm giving it away. I don't know what I'm doing with it. I've been meaning to finish it and like, Obviously, haven't yet. This is the Zelda screen um, by Choco Choco Coco Stitch on Etsy. Not my typical stitching, but stitching it on 18 count black Ada. almost through this bin. This, and this bag is awesome. It was a gift from um, my friend Laura. This is by Modern Folk, uh, Spirits of the Dead. So it's Edgar Allan Poe. I am stitching it on 36 count old stationery by Seraphim. Mm. And I'm using a Victorian motto, I believe, for it. And then this, I believe, is my last start before 222. Yep. And this was Long Dog Samplers, Santa Quill. I'm stitching this on 40 Count Midnight by Lakeside. It's a very deep, like, na royal navy blue. Like, it's, it's a really pretty linen. It's just not for Lakeside. It doesn't have any, like, modeling. And so it always kind of surprised me. Get all these in. It. You did it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have two more. Oh, looks like you have Okay, this one was my first start of 222. And it is the In All Things um, Be Exceeding. Exceedingly Diligent. I don't know where the cover is, whatever, you know. Here's that. I'm stitching it on 36 count Dusty Rose by Seraphim. And this was one of those I did get a lot of work on, but um, it still has a lot to go. Oh, yeah, you have a lot done. I was using this as like a 30 minute a day project, I think, in 2023 for a while, at least for January. So I was working on it just for 30 minutes. It's amazing how much, like, for how slowly I feel like I'm stitching in a block session right now. When you do 30 minutes a day, I feel like you mm -hmm. get a lot done. Um, and then the last one I have for you for now is this A New World Under the Sea or Over the Seas by Barbara Anna. Um... She released, I think there's five sections, and
and said to do them all on different linen and then attach like sew them together i'm going to finish them at the ones that i stitch as individual like long pillows for accents um one of my goals this year is for my mom to show me how to finish pillows um so i did do the the city or the town one i finished that one um but and this is on 40 count uh, i think it's midnight ride by x jude i'll check in a second i love this fabric but i got this fabric specifically for um a project later in 222 and that's I was able to pull it for a few other things, but yeah, 40 count midnight ride. So we figured out last night, I started 222 projects for 222 plus nine premature 2023 starts. And I have four of the premature starts still to go from that year. And I have a hundred, what did we say? A hundred and 63. That's total though. So I think it was like 129 or 28. So I finished just under 100 of my starts from 222. Yeah. So the majority of the rest of what we're going to show you will be 222 starts. Um, I have three other ones. I only started, I thought I only started two projects in 2023, but I found that other one. So I do have three that I started last year. So, but one of them was finished two of them were finished one one was finished so so it was to end if you get to see the finishes during this or not but i'm gonna drink some coffee okay and we're gonna figure out a plan for eating yeah because yesterday was shabbat and so my parents were gonna come over and I, it was my turn to make dinner and so um i had stuff to make dinner but then it was snowing, and so Brandon went and got my mom, so my dad really didn't come. It was really nasty. Yeah, it yeah. was really gross. So um, my dad didn't come, so I said, I'm not cooking. <laughs> so instead, we ordered pizza. Mm -hmm. Just kidding. So uh, we will figure it out, and we'll be back in a little bit to show you some more. Bye. Bye. Okay. Get to your <laughs> We're filming, so you caught that. I can't really. It's. You can't. Not, not really. Oh. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Um, I got all the grit in. Hallelujah. But now I just have a little bit of the border to finish. So I'm just going to finish it so I'm done with that. And I know. Because I only have a few uh, strands of that color left. And so I don't know if it's in there. But I definitely think over here to right there had to have been a different dye lot mm. because like you can tell right there that's the stitch yeah but that's crossed are they all oh, they all are crossed yeah yeah but you can tell it's different mm -hmm. so i don't know oh nobody's gonna know so. but it's i mean if i was using over dyed it would be the same way but it's like all mm. you can tell like to there and then i just have that section across and then Mm -hmm. Isn't it fun when I put it down and you guys can't see what we're talking about? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's really fun looking at the top of our heads. Yes. Um, <laughs> anyway, there's a, a discrepancy in dye lot. So I, I definitely didn't use the wrong color because there's no other color on the card that is similar. So I'm wondering if I finished out an old skein and then switched to a new skein. Mm -hmm. um, like if I just had a... a, mm -hmm. a strand or two left sometimes i'll just yeah join them so it's a little yeah, wonky but i'm it. the only yeah. one that and, it, and it's yeah you're so used to having the two the variegations stuff. and just because this is yeah, dmc stuff yeah i you know there so. are definitely colors of dmc that come through sometimes oh yeah i mean so. the nine the the water the light blue for water a lot of times yeah. nine twenty seven or whatever that yeah. one is um okay so i just once again worked up i got the words down below all mm -hmm. done in the other color which i like that color yeah better i like for that the color words. better too and i'll use it because one of the DMC, it was like eight twenty nine or eight sixty nine. They're so similar in color, mm. but that's the color for the words and their stockings and in 
other mm-hmm. things that I've done of hers, so, and that was this close to that color. I just didn't care for that green. It's like again, I just think it's the the fabric choice. I think yeah, it's, right, it, right. It definitely sometimes colors pop on different fabrics. Right. Because this is darker. Because mm-hmm. I looked at at uh, the picture of the lady We're in doing Japan, it again. <laughs> and her green looked darker in the picture. But mm-hmm. of course. And, but she's got a lighter background, too. And this well, and you also dirty. have to take into consideration, like, our lighting isn't the best right here. Sometimes mm-hmm. when people will take pictures of their stitching and post it, they could be using a contrast filter. Yeah. You know, like, there's a whole lot that can be yeah. making it look different than yeah. what it actually is. So. We're okay. ready with another bin of projects. At least I don't think there'll be any more of those notebooks. No, because be. these were all 2022 starts yeah. there may still be some magnet boards yeah. but um because i didn't officially gravitate to the ipad till towards the end of 2022 and i will be able to tell you exactly which project <laughs> it was that got me there because i didn't i kept telling her i know she, she didn't i wasn't nobody listening. does yeah. quilting bee by blue flower We were getting all of these organized last night and I had printed out my spreadsheet and we're going through and I have all my bins around me and like slowly, you know, they're dwindling from the door designers into the the thing. And I'm looking and I'm like, we skipped a page. We had to have skipped a page. I said, because I'm seeing like this project and a couple others. And I still, even though it's been two years, you know, since I've started these things, I still think of them according to the dates that I started them. So I'm sitting there and I'm looking and I'm like, Quilting Bee was a January start. I know it was a January start and it's still in. So we had had a, she was holding my my spreadsheet list and she asked if it was double sided and I didn't think it was. And I was seeing the bottom of what she was holding and it was like blank paper. So I was like, no, it's not double sided. And I'm not even thinking that, it was and then she knew it was printed on both sides but she thought it was scrap paper on the other because side because it was upside down on so, the other side so i thought she just re <laughs> so we used had a minor like oh crap moment we just uh, spent all this but she got it rectified i knew i did i'm good at math she talks about math and i don't get it i'm really good with numbers i'm not necessarily good at math this is Quilting Bee, and I am stitching this. It is a lilac color. It's on 35 Count Antique Hydrangea by r and It was a scrap piece I had, but I was like, I feel like mm-hmm. that works for that project. Again, it's that stiff r and that I don't always love. This is Cinnamon Stars by Plum Street. I don't think I've worked on this except for the initial. Stitching this on 36 count navy bean by Lakeside. Part of the reason why I wanted to do the whip parade was because I know I haven't showed all the 222. Like, I stopped filming. You guys know that. (laughs) I'm not really good sometimes. Um, Winter Hot Cocoa by Madame Chantilly. Stitching this on 36 Count Dapple by Picture This Plus. It's a cute little. It's really cute. I don't know where I plan to put these things (laughs) when they're stitched. In a drawer. <laughs> Probably. I don't have a cover photo for this one. The pattern is really weird. Um, but it's the Quaker Street by Marjorie Massey. And I'm stitching it on 40 Count Dirty Brown by X June. And I'm a little nervous because I'm using a Victorian motto with it. And it's a 20 yard skein, but I'm hoping I have enough. Um, I'm running into 
issues with a few of my ones that I did that with. So, and then it's hard to get, she doesn't sell them individually. So to, to get them back, I don't know what I'm going to do. That one I think I might be okay with. There's another one that I'm very nervous about. Okay, so okay. here. You That's still fine. want this in yeah. front. You don't want well, the project the, is card. The card it's, there? Right, it's right behind. The cards it. can go in front. Oh. Okay. They don't block all oh, the stitching. Okay. This is My Necessity by Heartstrings. And um or the floss stitching it on I think it's called for 40 count sampler khaki by extrude it may be called for it may not be don't quote me. A bit of that, huh? yeah and I'm using a Victorian motto for that one as well this was a 20 for our start, I think, during uh, 2022. This is Dream Journal Gothic. Again, going into my Poe room is the goal. And it will be like you get a, a book and you wrap it around it. So it's almost like those old school book covers we did when I was in grade school. So I have the spine done and the back. I do think my mom and I were talking here about making these symbols more me like I don't I mean I have stories about guitars but I don't play one um they are mm -hmm. fairly good stories though yeah <laughs> um so I don't know I haven't decided um and this is on it's a really cool fabric I think I did um Jenny Bean's Christmas on this as well. It's um, 40 Count Sampler Khaki by X Jude. Ars Robotica by Ink Circles. I don't have much of this one. It's a really cool linen. It's very green and it is very cool. Um, and it is forty count shadow brook by Silk Weaver. This is the Chris first day of Christmas um, by Hello from Liz Matthews. I am, my last name we mentioned earlier, but maiden name was Baronbaum, pear tree. So I gravitate towards things that have pears in them. I'm gonna, we're gonna hopefully finish it like the tree. So um, I'm just stitching it in the, the cone or whatever, the triangle. This is on um, 36 count Havana by weeks. I thought I finished this one, so I was really confused why it was on my whip list, but then I realized I didn't finish it, so it made sense that it was on my whip list. Lucy Beam, Cross Stitch Makes Everything Okayer. I'm not really even that close to a finish, so say, I'm not sure not why I thought it was finished. Um, this is on 36 Count Ale by Picture This Plus, and I think I just did a conversion of, like, stash dive for the floss. And, and those of you that, that weren't part of all the 222 discussion, I turned 40 in 2022. And so as a, um, on 222. So as my 40th birthday thing, I started 222 projects, but you know me, I have to have some sort of rhyme or reason. So they had 19 different categories that the projects fell into and I had 82 different designers because I was born in 1982. So <laughs> and how this all magically worked I I still am am not really sure. But so each month like 
this is my whale start for February. And so every month on the 4th, I scheduled some sort of nautical start. Um, so that was one of the, the categories. Um, cross stitch was uh, on the 26th or 28th because 28 is the size of needle that I like to stitch with. Um, for, I think there's four book, uh, four chapters in Jonah, something like that, you know? So like I had tried to have reasons why all of my categories were on certain dates. And so then I always like the 26th is always alphabets in my head. The 25th is always Christmas. The 22nd is always like, oh, it's my birthday. So it's something big, you know, like, so that's why some of these may not always seem my style because I was trying to stick mm -hmm. to the category. And then each category, I wouldn't repeat designers. So if I did a nautical start by Kathy Barrick, I wasn't going to do another nautical start by Kathy Barrick. So it, yeah. <laughs> anyway, a uh, little stitcher, Moby Dick. And this is on 40 count or 36 count? 30, 36 count uh, vintage country mocha. This was my insect start for February, which I'm not really sure. Is a snail or a slug an insect? Is, is that an insect? I don't know. Well, you can do this one, I guess. Worms, I don't know. Oh, worms. I don't know. Amphibians? Oh, <laughs> we only taught elementary <laughs> school. <laughs> you know, so um, that's where I am on him. I was using this as a scrap fabric, but because of how he's finished, it doesn't matter that it's there. Hopefully. <laughs> you to be wrong. This was my house start, because on the 9th of every month, I started something that had houses, because we bought our house on the 9th of April. So The Village by Kathy Barrick. Stitching this on 36 count exemplar by Lakeside. This is one I really would like to get back to. I love this piece and I've loved it for years and don't have much done. This is Counting Crows by Not Forgotten Farm, and this was my bird start for the month of February. And I'm stitching that on 36 count light brown sugar by Color and Cotton. And then this was my birthday start for um, February. So it was an excited, so it is a whale again, but that's just because whales make me excited. <laughs> so. And this is, oh, I should show you the pattern. This is, um, the ocean blue, but I'm doing it as the sampler, not the stocking. So we'll go down. We had some sort of issue with cutting original fabric with that, but then we didn't actually do it wrong. I don't remember what happened now. Um, I think we were, I don't, I don't remember. It was the only piece that we messed up. When we the, cut the 222. the 222. There was only one that we thought, and then it ended up. That we didn't we really, really mess it didn't up. We didn't really mess it because up. Because we were looking at this. I think the stitch count we were looking at was for the stocking, not the sampler or something. Yeah. And so it would have been fine. Oh, yeah. But I'm doing it on um, Tornado by Fox and Rabbit. And I had wanted to do it on Murky by Picture This Plus. They're very similar. Um, so that was, yeah, we, it was the only glitch we had, which was pretty incredible. Well, I had another glitch, but that was totally my fault. 
we'll get to that one. The Yule Game Board by Primitive Needle. I've done the um, the Halloween one, I believe. Do you want the scissors kept in there? They don't have to be. This was my travel project, so those are TSA scissors. Um, in case they steal my other scissors. I keep them packaged just yeah. in case. So I am here on this one. This one's a good, I may actually take this one and have it be my work lunch project because it's the, easy filling. you know, it's 40 count, but it's, you don't have to count when you're doing the squares. So it's a, mm -hmm. uh, and I just Minus, did a, yeah. a dive for the colors I'm not using called for. And I think it's on um, sand dune, 40 count sand dune. This is the project that I'm really worried about not having enough of the Victorian motto with. Um, Cause it is very uh, heavy in color. So this is Alphabet Zoo by Blue Ribbon. And I'm using Vermont Red Maple, and I have, this is how much I have left, but I'm only, I have, I don't know, I've got that much done, and I just don't know, so I'm toying with doing, like, maybe this middle row in a different color, or a you lighter. You can't get that color anymore. Not as a, it was in a pack. And so if anybody has any Vermont red maple that they would be willing to sell me, I will buy it. But I looked through the packs that were up the last time I searched her store and it was not, it wasn't one of them. So, um, yeah, I don't, I may have to get creative. If I hadn't, if I had realized it when I finished this one, I would have just done a different color each row. Mm -hmm. But since I have the two... I don't know how I could do or like try to do some sort of like fade mm -hmm. in down, but I don't, I don't really see color that well. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do. And this, this bag is like perfect for it with the, the alphabet and the animals. That was one yesterday. I did look for the bag because I knew yeah, exactly I, which bag it I was in. I saw you looking and it was like, mm -hmm. too, which one it was in. Grounding Force by Heartstrings. I'm stitching this. I like this one because I'm doing it on a dark fabric. Um, a little bit different than what she called for, but I really like the dark. And it is on 36 count Barnwood by Picture This Plus. Yeah, I like that. Mm-hmm border color really looks pretty on that. I don't know why I did the border and I think there was a whole reason. Um, I'm not You're usually a border stitcher. What? You're running out of thread. <laughs> Probably. This was from a magazine so I don't have the pattern picture. It is Autumn Delights by um, Barbara Anna. I think you can get it. I think they actually do own it in the it. Um, not magazine version as well. It's but I have Autumn the one. Autumn Delights. And it's it got foxes in it. It's really cute. Mm -hmm. And I'm stitching that on 36 count vintage mocha, vintage country mocha. Now, see, we're into March now. So March during 2022, I still did Madness. So I had all my 19 designs, but then I also had different starts for every day. So typically I was like doing a start every couple days or I had them associated with my dates. But there was 31 different starts with 31 different designers. This one was Nantucket. So typically when I'm doing that, I'll save my like unique designers that I only have one or two things um, by for when I do March Madness, Stitch Madness. And this is on 36 count Ty Tyco. I picture this plus it's what I stitch dogs declaration on as well. Not that you've seen that because that is a finish and not something that I'm showing in my whip list. Maybe when I get to the finishes. This is Octopus Garden by Blackbird. 
didn't know this was a Beatles song. <laughs> I liked the octopus. I mean, I did before I stitched it, but originally just seeing it did not know. Um, this is on 40 count vintage flagstone by Lakeside. This was one of my premature 2023 starts. So I also, I did, the, I did the 2022 starts, 222, but then there were a couple projects that I wanted to start during the year in addition. So I was born nine weeks early, so I allowed myself nine premature 2023 starts. So this was one of them, and I don't remember why. Maybe because it was a Ukrainian designer? I think that might have been why I picked it. So I'm doing the death head moth. What? It's a real moth. And I'm doing this on shadow by Picture This Plus. Uh, 40 count. And it actually wasn't a premature start. It was a 2020, 222, but I subbed it for something else. I took out one I was going to do and did that one instead. So it may not have had anything to do with Ukraine. <laughs> I don't, I don't remember. Uh, this is Pineberry Lane by, uh, or no, I'm sorry. It's Home Sweet Home Sampler by Pineberry Lane. And this is on 37 Count Wild Honey Legacy Linen. And I'll, oh, two more. This is the Pear Tree Sampler by Chessie and Me. Chessie and Me also does a whole lot of specialty stitches, so I tend to just change them into regular. Um, this one has some over one, but I will do the pairs over one. Um, so this is on pear. I like it when I can do mm -hmm. pear things on pear fabric. Uh, so it is 40 count pear by Lakeside. And the last for right now, this is Primitive Betty's. Wicked Notions sewing book. And I think I thought this one was going to be done, and then I realized there really is an inside to it as well. So I didn't want to just do, there's two parts. It's not just this. You want to make it sewing book, so you want to do both sections. So I'm doing it on 36 count murky, so I have the first one kind of close. And then I'll do the inside as well. And I don't know what... what goes I think it just says like needles and pins or yeah. something like that goes on the inside so I have two pieces of murky cut yep and that's all we've got for right now so her shoulder is hurting she said I was fading I'm doing just fine no, well, I'm sitting, I usually, I'm resting my elbow on armchair. I know, that's why I always have issues at your couch. Yeah. What? <laughs> so, it's just, I need to prop it up so it's not just hanging, because I'm sitting at the other end. I couldn't sit at the other end because that was the dog's end. So I'm sitting at the end of the sofa that... Brandon usually sits at, so the dog can be at the other end, but... Our new dog doesn't like to go down steps. <laughs> well, apparently, I don't know. We um, So we lost Watts in the beginning of December and decided we couldn't be at no dog house. Um, so it we ended up being able to rescue a six-year-old corgi. Um, so her name is Annabelle, and she is Annabelle Lee because of Poe. And um, then she, she fits in well with our mm -hmm. Lenore and our Lilith and our little gothic trio um but she is she was rescued from a breeding farm so she's got some definite trauma triggers and some quirks so she uh she's still learning and she's definitely um bonded with brandon uh, she's, she's very very sweet <laughs> she, she is, is she is very so sweet. sweet but she um she's a little quirky <laughs> 
<laughs> but we're just going to spoil her rotten because she had a really rough mm. first six years of her life. So now that she's with us, she learns the, the better stuff. So, um, so we're going to get back to stitching and get comfy and all that. Okay, we'll see you in a bit. Bye. Hi. Uh, there might be a little disruption this round. Brandon is getting ready to go to bed with Annabelle. And so they're going outside. So maybe we'll get little Annabelle Lee on camera. I don't really know how. I'm not, <laughs> maybe yeah. I'll hold her up. I don't. Yeah. She's so I don't cute. Know. She is very cute. Oh, oh they're that back. was very quick. <laughs> it is very it cold, very outside. cold outside. Brandon, will you come introduce Annabelle? Huh? Will you come introduce Annabelle on camera? Please? I can't do it. We just want to hold her up, like, in between my... <laughs> yeah, stick her little head yeah, right stick her the little door. head in between us. Annabelle. Annabelle doesn't like our basement. <laughs> so, but, like... She's been doing good down She's there. been this doing good. good. She had never gone down the steps to the basement. I don't think she had ever done stairs before us. She had lived basically outside. She was just a little breeder pup. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Brandon was ready for the Arctic. It's really cold here. Annabelle, hi. We need to take a whistle out in case he started to freeze and he couldn't move. He could whistle. We'd come safe. Hi, yes. Well, I can't do that. You know I can't do that. Well, you, you can do pick that. Her up? <laughs> <laughs> my Very <man>. good. Why? <laughs> my husband I just earned just quoted my so many points scripture. from my oh mother. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Be still, my heart. Hi. Oh. Yeah. We're gonna show you off to the world, Annabelle oh. Lee. Oh. 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 Okay. <laughs> but you gotta girl. fix your corgi ears first. Hey, come over here. <laughs> so this there is Annabelle. Go. She's a tricolor Pembroke Welsh corgi. There's Say hi. Annabelle. Get those corgi ears up. Get those corgi not ears. Not happy <laughs> She's, <laughs> She's not happy. Hey, are you not happy? Annabelle. Say are you not hi. happy? You want treats? Did you get treats? Did you go body? She's getting... What the heck is happening? So you want to go So that's our newest pup and she is just She is just too cute. She's exactly what we needed and hopefully we are exactly what she needed. So mm. um She's, she's not Watson, and we didn't jump that quickly oh. in an attempt to replace Watson because that's not possible. But, um, just kinda... Well, and we were saying it just is so funny because we rescued cats earlier this summer. We had mm -hmm. never been people that had done that before and ended up rescuing the four cats. Well, I've always adopted my cats. Like, my cats have always come, my cats. <laughs> She's a breeder person for cats. <laughs> it's true. It's not a false statement. It's not a bad thing. Cats we got. Right. <laughs> you, were... <laughs> you have always adopted. <laughs> have you? <laughs> and I paid for purebred cats. Well, okay, they got. <laughs> Siberian they got my Siberian. husband so I allergic. know I was I just going to explain that. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> we didn't go and <laughs> rescue cats before. But we are now. <laughs> I had and a nice I don't squirrel. think <laughs> we ruined it. Along with her, I'm going to home. <laughs> Call my almost 80 year old husband and say, Come and rescue me. I need to rescue. <laughs> so, well, what was your story? Though? I don't want to tell it anymore. <laughs> just, it's just fine. <laughs> 
I'm the sinful person that keeps breeders in business no, because I don't I'm think there's anything wrong pets. with breeders. And I think that the breeders you used were reputable breeders. No kidding. <laughs> Just pointing out that I have used <laughs> you, make you have always <laughs> you have always attacked a cat. You never go. <laughs> because you can afford to go to a breeder. Well, that's true. Well, <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> it's time to show our cross stitch. Okay. I finally got my border or my grid done <laughs> and the rest of the border. So I spent some time up in this block. Um, it's just there's, you know, I don't like to, like, I don't want to finish the doghouse because there's not, I need to see that color somewhere else to finish it so I don't have to waste thread or save thread or thread an extra needle because I don't do that. Uh, I do one needle per project. So um, kind of skipping around, but that's one of the reasons why I wanted to get all the grids in. I typically am a, I go all the way down to the bottom on the left and then go like roll and go over, uh, except I don't think this weekend I will be stitching on the very bottom block, which is the king one. It's mm -hmm. the only one that I'm just like, I don't know what I'm doing with that one yeah. yet. So um, until I figure out how I want that one to be represented, I'm not sure. Because what is Rex? It has a it has a king and then it says Rex, and I'm not historical at all, so I don't know what it or who it would be standing for or what that means or anything. So, all right, this is the nature of people. I have Eden. <laughs> I haven't done her eyes and stuff it's back stitching and adam is kind of outlined on the other side you can't see so are you gonna one. do the back stitching as you go for each one or are you gonna say well it? it's just back stitching eyes and stuff oh, okay and i just say that's because i've got a and because there's a face on the moon and a face but on you'll the sun. do that before you yeah. move on to the next square yeah, I'll okay. finish this square before I go on. Sometimes and, I don't like to do any of it because it gets... I feel like if I roll or work, it can get... I don't feel that way. Okay. So. I'm offending her <laughs> left and right tonight. I'm not exactly sure. So. Okay. So that's what we were stitching on. Um, we did get... She got wine. I made an old-fashioned... I haven't had one in a long time. Apparently. My wine bottle, it was bad. Yeah, it wasn't a good one, so we had to open so another all one. All the bottles of wine we've opened. That's the first one that was not good. Mm -hmm. It was fizzy. It was oh, gross. Fizzy. We don't like fizzy wine. I'm not drinking wine tonight, though. I drank wine last night. So, okay, we're going back to the whip parade. We're still in March of 2022. This is... Beggar's Valentine by Threadworks Primitive. I like anything crows and ravens. Um, so I've got that. There's a lot of stitching in these little blocks, though, because the whole bottom is done. And this is, I'm doing it on 40 Count Maple Sugar by Lakeside. This is Quaker Sampling 3 by With My Needle. It's Ellen, I think Ellen Chester is the designer and she's an Ohio stitcher. So this is what I have done here. I'm using a Victorian motto for this and this is 46 Count Mocha by Weeks. Or that's in Ohio. Uh, I wanna say down like Cincinnati area maybe, I'm not sure. A very nice lady. And her sampler wall is like to die for. This is Promise of Spring by Cot Country Cottage or Cottage Garden Samplings. Mm -hmm. 
I'm stitching this on 36 count Dove by Weeks Dye Works, which is one of my absolute favorite colors of linen. I just don't always love the texture of Weeks Dye Works linens. Whereas R&R is too hard for me, Weeks Dye Works tends to be too soft. I'm trying. <laughs> See, Lakeside is that perfect. Um, if only it wasn't so hard to get. What? Something. It's Weeks Dye Works, too. No, Was that what you were no, looking at? No. What were you looking at? <laughs> Very curious. This is Grim Walken's Apothecary. This cat reminds well, reminded me of Mayhem, but now it's one of the little black creatures we have roaming the house. Mm. And this is this I believe it's Havana by Weeks Dye Works. Yep, 35 count Havana. Um, Annabelle didn't play with toys when we first brought her home, and so the first night I was away. I went to do a book club with some friends and we had an Airbnb and Brandon was sending me videos of her playing because it took me leaving the house <laughs> for her to play. But you can hear her squeaking her toy now. She's she's getting more comfortable. Um, this is Hannah Hetherington and I'm doing the mini one over here. This is from the heart. And I am stitching this on 36 count fawn by Lakeside. I think called for is 36 count fawn by Picture This Plus, um, which I also use for things, but this is Lakeside. I don't know which way it goes right now. I'm assuming this way because my needle's yeah. up in this corner. That's a tough one. This is Starry Night by City Stitcher. If you haven't seen Olivia's version of this where she did it as a Tom Petty um, like reference and, and did it after he died, it's unbelievable. But she changed it and it's all mm -hmm. like Tom Petty themed. If I'm wrong about that, I'm sorry. I think it's Tom Petty themed in my, I had in like research that before I said it. Mm -hmm. So pretty sure though. Um, this is on 40 count Woodlands by Zweigart. So I'm going down this way. That's all I've got on that one. Oh, I like the Woodland. Mm-hmm. To call Starry Night when there aren't even any stars on it. I mean, I think there are though. There's flowers. There's stars at a moon. She didn't believe me. She had to look. <laughs> this is Tired Trio by Plum Street. I love all the little trios. Mm -hmm. And I'm stitching this on 36 count vellum by Picture This Plus. This is Turn Back Time by Felicity Hall. Uh, if you look behind me in the middle there, right there, is the clock piece that was a companion piece for this. Um, it was in a cross stitcher magazine, I believe. Um, so I'm stitching the keys, but I'm doing them very small and I'm doing it's on, I think 56 count or 52 count pearled barley and I changed the colors up. So I'm doing like a purple and a gray and a white. is 
Thread Needle Street by Annie B's. And I'm stitching this on 36 count navy bee. You know, I have a lot done on this one. Wow. I don't remember working on this multiple times, but I must have pulled it out. And this is the last of the Stitch Madness starts from 2022, which is Thankful, Grateful, Blessed by Abby Rose. And I'm stitching this on 40 count maple sugar. I don't have much, I only did the one day. Okay, this one is The 100 Owls by Owl Forest. This is a free sal. Um, that you can get on their website and they released it like piece by piece um, but it's all available now I'm stitching mine on 40 count pair by lakeside using the DMC. This is from a little booklet by Primitive Hair um, called Hair's Seasons and it's spring and it's the black butterfly pillow. I did a conversion of colors and I'm using some DMC silk that is a pain in the butt, but it's like everywhere. And I'm stitching it on 35 count Havana. I'm gonna lose my needle. This is Folk House by Not Forgotten Farm. Can't really see the pattern too well. It's just very primitive. There's a cat that looks like a, a couple cats that look like cows to me. I'm stitching it on some sort of Picture This Plus. It is 40 Count Heartland by Picture This Plus. It's just with the call for DMC. This one I started with Emily and Olivia. And that is Friends of the Heart by Plum Street. I believe Olivia finished hers. I have not. I'm stitching it on 40 Count Wren by Picture This Plus. I love that little fox in the corner though. I know, I do too. Whip It Good by Heartstrings. I love this series and the play on the songs. I really need to stitch Baby Got Back, or the, what is it? Baby Got Back stitch. I'm stitching it on 35 count, 36 count, 36 count dove by weeks. This one oh, is such a pain in the butt. Um, this Bent Creek, the branch. Um, I've stitched the Halloween and I've stitched the Christmas ones and I have them in these cute little frames 
And so I was all set to do this one, and I'll probably rechart the words because I want it to be something different than what they say. Um, but it's not the same size, so it won't go. So I decided to do it just in a smaller and make it a pillow or something like that. So I'm doing it on 46 count mocha by weeks. And it's one of those by Bent Creek, so it's released each part. You have to buy each part, and then I couldn't find the one part. <coughs> it was a little bit frustrating. This is Light by Barbara Anna. Oops. No, don't eat it. There. Haven't gotten much done with that. I think I thought I finished this one too. What are you doing, Annabelle? Are you looking for food? <laughs> yes. This is My Mother's House by Kathy Barrick. I love this one. This has been a travel project for me just because it's a lot of fill-in. And so I was working it on, on the airplane the one time and I'm stitching and um, this guy's sitting next to me and he he looks at me at the very end of the plane and he goes, they let you on here with the needle? <laughs> what am I going to do with this needle? And I'm like, yeah, they did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> did you feel endangered by sitting next to me as I'm stitching? Carson Brown by, is this not forgotten? I think I made some mistakes on this one, so I have to do some fudging, and I couldn't remember where I had to do some fudging, but I think I figured that part out. This is on um, 36 Count Broomstick by x -Jew. This one is on that fabric we were talking about earlier um, that I'm doing, the cross-eyed cricket one, the Be Thankful. And so it's engraver's chart by Hello from Liz Matthews, which I do absolutely love. It's this fabric, and it's like a huge piece of it. And it's like it's either not true to size or something. So I'm ending up, I'm going to not do the numbers at the very end because I don't think I'm going to have room for them. But I'll see when I get finished. So I have, I'm just trying to get like it all blocked out. Um, which I was doing it as an alphabet and not as, so numbers are okay if they're not on it. It's not like you can tell, and if we finish it uniquely, then I don't know. I'm using Cucumber by Gast as my thread. This is Needlework, A Joyful Art by Needlework Press. And I am stitching it on Ancient Ruin 40 Count by X Jude. And it's hard to see, but it, I really like it on this fabric. Um, it stands out more in person. It's a lot of classic color work threads. Pennsylvania Bird by Hello from Liz Matthews. This one was a premature start because I was going back to Pennsylvania for the first time in like four years since we moved here. Um, so I started this one in that honor. And this fabric is 36 Count Philip by Grace Notes. It's a very pretty fabric. This 
is Quaker Halloweens and I'm doing the owl. And I decided to go for a dark fabric and a light stitching instead of what they called for. So I'm stitching it on the 46 count mocha with the light. I think I love him. I love him. He's very cute. <clears throat> This is Away We Ride by Blackbird. I am stitching this one on 46 count affogato or something like that. By um, Fiber on a Whim. A very pretty fabric as well. It is pretty. You've stitched this one, right? The Busy Bee by Willow Hill? Mm -hmm. Busy Bee by Willow Hill. I'm stitching it on Heartland, maybe? Wren. 36 count Wren. I picture this plus. Two more, and then a break. Tall House Needlebook. I have a thing for needlebooks. I really like them. I'm not sure why, but I do really like them. So I'm stitching this one on um, 35 count almond bar by weeks. Going for the darker fabric. And then my last one for now is Spring Squirrel by Blue Flower. I love all these squirrels. We have a ton of squirrels in our yard and we have like a nut feeder for them and they attack our bird seed. Yeah, I've worked on this one a few times. There's a lot of stitching in these, though. There are. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and this is just 40 count natural. Yeah, it does. So that is where we're at. That takes us to May of 2022. Not too bad. I realized I just hit stop. I didn't, <laughs> didn't say, goodbye. say goodbye. I mean, not that we're really gone from you guys. Right. Like, you are still there or have given up on us or whatever. <laughs> you know, <laughs> whatnot. But we are going to go back and stitch. I do not know if we'll film again tonight right. or what. But um, we are halfway through. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go okay. stitch. Bye. And then you don't even say goodbye. Goodbye. Well, <laughs> now that we are filming, she's just like, are we okay. still filming? Yes, yeah, well, we're still filming. <laughs> goodbye. Well, she's a ray of sunshine in the I am. morning no, today. I'm happy, oh, but... my goodness. Oh, my God. It's freezing. <laughs> it couldn't be any colder in an outhouse. That bathroom downstairs is the neatest bathroom, but it is so cold. <laughs> Did you use the heated light? No. Why not? It, it helps. It's not going to help that it does. much. It really does. Oh my gosh, it's cold. <laughs> Lord, it's cold. <laughs> oh. What do you think that room, was it just part of the basement? Yeah. Like, why isn't there heat in that room? Like, could we put heat in that room? Well, I don't know. They could have put an electric electric keyboard down in it. Yeah, it's just they used um, siding. The siding that's on it is like an outdoor siding for like a house mm -hmm. or a building outdoor. It it is just really a well. Cool the bathtub bathroom. is a trough. Like 
cake. So right. it's a yeah. it's a trough, and then it's so it's, it's not a flat surface. It's it's got ridges and stuff. It would be hard to mm-hmm. attach anything on there. I, be but being an outside wall like that, and yeah. it and it being a bathroom where you know you're in there and you <laughs> want to take a shower, you want it warm in there. The family that we bought this house from had eight children and so their downstairs was like all kids and so I think they converted it wasn't even I think oh there's deer deer in the farm the field there's Uh like five of them Uh, oh Oh. four or five no No, this way go that way oh I see him I see him (laughs) um so anyway, two. No, there were Three. at least four. I see. <laughs> there were, and there's another one. Okay, I see another four. one coming. So five. I was right. It's not with the group. Oh yeah. Just because she doesn't see what I see means that I'm wrong. <laughs> well, that's right. That's how it always is with the mom. The mom's always right. Kids are um, always wrong. <laughs> But man, she's fun this morning. Um. <laughs> I'm old. I'm old. And then, and then, the bathroom's really good. Mm-hmm. And and they had probably mm-hmm. remodeled it fairly recent be, before you yeah. bought it. I mean, it looked like newly remodeled. It just, it's very, very cute. But they used, well, and if it was kids, I guess, too. Just like the regular standard toilet. That's it's very the height. Oh Lord! <laughs> well, yeah. but they put hey. it in before they did like the flooring, uh, yeah. Well, yeah. so it's it's below the below floor. Below the flooring too, because <laughs> and all of ours, we went through and we because we had remodeled our house in Philly and we put the higher mm-hmm. toilet seats up, which are so nice. I didn't realize you had that. So when we came here, all four of our toilets were low, and we replaced those babies. <laughs> so. I'm used to that, so besides it being freezing, and you and that and that. Oh God! Now what? Well, the toilet paper took me took me a little bit. The toilet paper roll holder is a whale. It's a whale. Mm-hmm. Well, it goes up and down instead of across. Oh, not that one. The one that holds the extras is a whale. The toilet. Oh, yeah. No, the one that holds. Yeah, so we didn't it's really do that. hard to like pull it right, and I pulled it right out of the socket because I put a new roll of toilet paper, so now I got toilet paper rolling around on the floor. It's like, okay, okay, I'm good. And I can't have coffee because I got all these projects in front of me. Do you want your coffee? I think not. Do you Jenna. want to take a sip of this one? I get you a little happier. It's the same kind do as you yours. Do you have alcohol in your? I jet? do not have alcohol in mine yet. Yet. <laughs> Whew. Okay. We got some Bones coffee delivered yesterday, so we've got some different flavors, and it's quite delightful. Um, okay. So, so we stitched for three more episodes last night, and then it was just three, right? No, we, st- we started the fourth one. Did we, we started, but the- it wasn't very long. Okay. That, I, that we decided anyway. that I was tired. But it was 1 o'clock. I mean, it it's was like almost 2 o'clock. Yeah, no, right. it was almost 2 o'clock. Right, it was one right. thirty. We really stitched late. Um, so. Because we thought we were going to surprise you and be able to say we did, we did it all night. Or... <laughs> we're like, we're not going to say it on camera. But the fact that we had the conversation about right. it jinxed it. Yeah, probably. Um, so here is mine. The grid is in. And then I've just been working on the two blocks so I got the the fence and all the fill in there and then um yeah the two maids so okay I'm getting a lot done on mine maybe you can't tell but I may be able no, to finish this really little block tell. yeah um the clouds now are all I have to do is do the final color outline mm-hmm. so I don't have to look at the chart. And I did the sun. I filled the sun in down below the green. She has about six different greens at the bottom there. Mm. That's, and then once they get all the little 
different colors right, then in. It's just fill in. Then it's fill in with mm -hmm. another green. It'll be up, but still, it's not going to be that much. No. So mm -hmm. I didn't work on Adam at all, but I did, and I've got a butterfly. I've got some little mm -hmm. things to put in. <clears throat> yeah, I think you might be able to get it done. I think I will. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, it's coming on. It's coming on faster than I thought it would. But yeah, yeah. Okay, we're ready for another segment of whips. I sat down before I, we sat down. We got all settled, and then I looked at the bin, and I was like, "These are the ones we did last <laughs> night." <laughs> so I had to get up and go in the other room and get them. The new bin. Um, this has been five, I think. So we are in, still finishing up May of 2022. This is one of my favorite bags. I love this fabric. <laughs> Wish you could have seen her just throw it. <laughs> it's mine. So Miss Lynette Lynn. Linen. Uh, I love this series. Animals dressed as people is like a. No, I. I don't so know, but I love them. Here's these are extra pieces for the others in the series. I'm stitching this on, them on 36 count murky, so I have all the other pieces cut, um, and that's where I am on her. This is Sampler Folk by Carriage House. Little line of people. This is Ren or nope, Fawn by Picture This Plus 36K. And this one it says you can like customize and change things, and I haven't really figured that I'm gonna do much customizing with the people. Mm, yeah. um, They're cute the way they are. I know, are. I just like the alphabet. And and I like the longness, the long mm -hmm. skinniness of a different shape. <clears throat> like we're, we're on a <laughs> time crunch here. Proper, <laughs> Proper Sisters uh, School of needle, Needlework by Pineberry Lane. And I'm stitching this on um, 36 count sand dune by Lakeside. It's folded, but you can kind of see the school is in. Oh. Well, I slept in this shirt because <laughs> I knew it was going to be cold. In the room. Is the room cold? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we keep our house cold. But I like a really cold bedroom and I have that blanket that I got. The, that, the eagle? Eagle. It's That's nice and heavy, mom. too, so it's like a weighted thing. Mm -hmm. um, this is Tread Softly by Lindy Stitches. I'm stitching mine on um, 36 Count Agave by, like, by Zweigart. What are you doing? <laughs> She's a lot of fun this morning. <laughs> It's like a green. What? What is? No, it? I'm laughing. Why? <laughs> Share with the class. Because not only do I have no room for a cup of coffee, <laughs> you do these so fast. I there's no time well, for me to sip well, coffee. Well, I feel like you don't want to talk, and so I I don't know what to say. What do you mean? Well, I don't. <laughs> these aren't mine, so what do I have to say? Except, um, oh, beautiful like stitching, one. Jen. Be okay. <laughs> I'm sorry for what's gonna come. <laughs> is she well as she should be? <laughs> Can't even do it now, guys. Mermaid Sewing Box by Manny Dodonna. <laughs> This is where I'm at. Um, this is 36 count bisque by Lakeside. <laughs> do you have anything that you'd like to add? I do, but I can't say it. Like <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh. 
I thought it was sleep de- deprivation that made us funny. I'm not really sure what, what it, is. it is. It's just, I guess, <laughs> the longer we're together, we either piss each Don't other care. off a little Don't bit more. We get. Or... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> this is Give Bees a Chance by Not Forgotten Farm. Have you searched this yes. one? Yes. I'm stitching it on 37 Count Wild Honey by Legacy. I don't even want to know. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> going to keep it my pace. <laughs> She'll keep laughing every time she thinks she's going to say it. Uh, the Bird Sampler by Birds of a Feather. This is on 36 count uh, straw by Weeks Dye Works, but it's supposed to be a Zweigar base. They don't design anymore. Birds of a feather? Right. No. Is it because they know. were old and they're not around anymore? I'm not sure. Or a lot of their stuff is out of print. Why do you fold it more than it's folded? <laughs> <laughs> Like, you can see all the creases of how it's been in there. <laughs> and then she makes it even more smaller. But it makes it <laughs> thicker. And then more lines for me to have to iron out when I go to And you know how many of these she's ironed out, okay? I, how often I, do you do? Oh, I iron them before I start working on them. I'm not going to iron them to put them in the bag. But I don't like it when there's all these lines all over them. So I iron them when I pull them out. This is the one I have to find to scan. Somehow it's not scanned. The Cat Sampler by Heartstrings. It's not scanned? I can't find it in my the scans. Okay, I'm, for it, but I'm sure I probably have the chart. I think I have it because I have all my originals in a bin from 222 stars. So... And that is on um, 40 Count Straw Flower by Lakeside. <laughs> At Cox First Crow by Blackbird. Stitching on 40 Count Hogs Bristle <laughs> by Fox and Rabbit. With all called for. some of these I know this was a premature start um, I don't remember why I started it new cat no no it wasn't um, yeah I'm not sure why I think I was going away again so it was gonna be a good travel project maybe because it's all fill in and I'm doing a conversion, so I'm not doing him brown or blue. I'm doing him like browns and pinks. And you don't like that one, that cat. Uh. I love that cat. <laughs> what's what's the problem? You know why, folks? <laughs> because since you have to have it up front, mm -hmm. it doesn't take. Then you can see this and you can see this. <laughs> so if it's little and it goes in better than if it's like this, and then you're not going to see anything else because it has to be in front. That's why, because if I don't fold it, then it gets crinkled. <clears throat> this one I haven't decided if I really like. It may be a... I mean, I like the linen, so I kind of want to finish it. The Drawn Thread Sampler Game Board. I think Pam stitched this one up. I think I've seen somebody. It might be Pam. Here. I might have needed to, like, customize it a little bit more. I don't know. It just doesn't... 
scream me. Like, I feel like it's kind of country-ish. Oh, really? This, I don't know. You I, don't? I don't feel as country-ish at all. Well, like, I don't know. Like, looking mm. at what I've got done, I don't... I don't think... I don't feel like that is as country-ish as... Because I don't think any of their stuff reminds me of country so much because it's oh. more refined as even, like, Blue Ribbon, they're all their yeah. game boards and the zoo yeah, thing, the, the style or whatever. I think the I style is more elegant. Than I think I need to give it a few more tries, <coughs> like, a few more goes. Yeah. That's, I'm, not, I'm not ready to, like, say I'm done with it. Yeah. And it was because of our games, and it's not going to live downstairs, I think is my thing. Like, where is that going to live? Because it's not probably going to really? live with our board games. Well, right, because it's not your style. Cause not that you're, but you're more primitive country than. Yeah. Uh, Samplers Maker by Queen of the Needle. Or no, sorry, by Primitive Hair. It's one of her needle book series. Um, I love her needle books. And then mom has a way of charting out so that it can be folded. So she always grids up my stuff since she finishes these. So she can, instead of doing them as two separate pieces, we stitch the one side then upside down. Right. And so when she finishes them, she just has to fold it. And it will it's, show her the fold. Nobody saw it. So the top edge is a fold. Yeah. Instead so, of sewing two pieces yeah, together. Yeah. So then it just folds and, and she can. And I've only got yeah part of it to sew together and i'm stitching that on um 36 count legacy by picture this plus this pattern was to share gifted to me by laura and crowned owls by kathy i'm stitching it on um 40 count that woodland by Zweigart. I love owls. I don't know where that one came from. I don't know where many of my little like, I love this. Don't, don't do it. <laughs> that one I wouldn't have to iron if I died out. <laughs> and then she's making these great <laughs> The Birds and the Bees by Carriage House. And I am stitching this one on 40, 36 count exemplar by Lakeside. This is why I love having a big stash of fabric because even though Lakeside was hard to come by, I still was able to use a lot of it. You can get, can you get it now? It was. It <coughs> sells on like immediately right. if they, if a store gets it. So. And that started with the pandemic more that when that things it became just got, really hard to get. Yeah, yeah. they were. It was harder to for them to make it, I guess, and hasn't really recovered mm -hmm. since. Uh, Land of the Free by Willow Hill. And I'm doing a full conversion for this, so I um, have it was all like stash colors. I'm stitching on um, forty count pearled barley. So it's long and narrow, but I have a lot of the first house done. And I really like it. I really am happy with the conversion. Mm -hmm. I was nervous at first because the red and the yellow really pop. And it's very muted on the pattern. And so I wasn't sure if I, but I really am liking like how it, it it's yeah. coming together. So That house is really pretty, that gray. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I think it's a Victorian motto. And one of the things I really liked about 222 was it really got me to like space out my fabric choices too and like be, I really didn't like the, I don't, I, I beefed up a lot of my floss stash, but I was very conscious of using stash too. So like I, like we, we did buy a lot of floss, but it wasn't, well, she bought me a lot of floss. Well, you needed to, but I mean, with all those projects, I still wasn't not nearly as much as you needed, would have had to, if we just, I was, bought it all. I was very deliberate about it. And yeah. so, um, 
I am a very frugal person, so I tried to really use what I had and yeah. make it, but it just was too hard to try to like say, oh, this skein can go into projects. Um, and well, I had, sat and did that. I mean, I have time. a little system, like if I knew it was only going to be a few strands, I would pull like a six, a six thread skein or six thread strand oh, right? and I would put it on this and then I marked like what project the main skein was in so that I knew dye lots would stay consistent. Um, but even that got really confusing then because we started pulling. <laughs> Mom was like, this, this doesn't need to be in the bag anymore. The project's done. Let's take the flies out. And so we're halfway through doing, I think we were filming when we were doing that. And, um, and then I was like, but there is a reason why it's still with the project. The yeah. Then. Because yeah. I still, but, um, for the so most part, I've gotten a lot. Take it out. So it I did, but I kind of forgot. Yeah. So, um, this is Penny Treats by Tree of Life. And I've done the Penny done. Thanks, the Thanksgiving yeah. one. Um, and this is on 40 Count Fieldstone by Color and Cotton. And this one you charted to be Watson. And that Watson is no longer alive. Not Watson. such a lucky dog anymore, I guess. <laughs> I love Watts. Oh my God. It was so sudden, guys. Like, there's, I can only joke now because it was just such a shock when we lost her. Um, she, yeah, it, we had no idea. But Lucky Dog by Scattered Seed. Um, she was a lucky dog. We were lucky for having her. 36 Count Winter Wren by Fox and Rabbit. And like I said, my mom recharted the dog to make it look more like Watson. So I have to find where that is, though. No. Yeah. Somewhere. Feast of Friendship by Carriage House. Or no, sorry, by Blackbird Designs. Um, and I am stitching this one on 40 count pecan butter by Lakeside. Why are there all these needles? I'm going to say that's a mom thing. I'm pretty sure. Whoa, whoa, three. <laughs> we were pulling the finishes out and she was like, here's a place I can put the needles. <laughs> it definitely wasn't me because they're also on the back of the fabric, which I never would do. Well, it was probably mm -hmm. one of my it fabric, was, but that's not that's my not fabric. not your fabric. No, it was when we were showing it. You were like, oh, here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These are finished. Take the needles. <laughs> Yuletide Welcome by Plum Street. I did finish um, Ghoultide Welcome last year. So that was my... Um, my oldest whip last year. So I have this one started and eventually I want to stitch the Liberty Welcome as well. And I'm pretty much doing called for, but I think I changed the yellow of the house just to be a more standard that I had so I didn't have to buy so many skeins. And I'm stitching this on 36 count buttercream by Lakeside. <coughs> Another scattered seed. This is Taylor's Row, Mend Thy Soul. I like this bag. Mm -hmm. Nice face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice like stitching, that. Jen. Nice bag, Mom. <laughs> Fabric. I like all my bags. Um, this is on 35 Count Sheep Straw by R&R. &R. So it is very rough and tough. Scratchy. Oh. 
This is Nightlight by Prairie Moon. I'm stitching this one on Barnwood by Barnwood. Yeah, picture this plus 36 count. And I'm really liking how it is on the dark. Mm -hmm. I think the lighthouse will really pop. Oh, I do too. There's a lot of three quarter stitches though with anything fairy moon. Mm. So. Painted Wings by Kathy. I haven't figured out where my insect spot is going to be in this house. Oh, why she likes insects. I don't so know. Much. I don't like insects, but I keep thinking that bathroom downstairs is, I think, where... Well, I just kept thinking, too, man, you, you could... It's, it's harder to hang down there because of that corrugated... Mm -hmm. Uh, but even thing, on the but, wall outside that bathroom and mm -hmm. going in and then yeah. it's got a big counter so well, yeah, they do like little be pillows no, and that be yeah good. we were gonna that'd do be cute down there you know it that'd just be a good feels idea. well yeah like the outdoorsy yeah. and um, basement is more buggy <laughs> yeah <laughs> i was thinking that last night when i was laying there and it's like i'm hearing all these noises and i'm thinking I don't think they have any mice down here. There's no, we, don't. Uh, we have four everything. cats in our house. We do not have mice in this house. <coughs> they would be at it. And, you know, but you never see any. But that mm -hmm. I think it would be really cute down mm -hmm. there. That is, I keep thinking you're doing nautical down there. but you We moved nautical it. upstairs mm -hmm. and then um, to our upstairs bathroom. But there's not a lot of room for displaying stitching in that bathroom mm -hmm. up here. So what we're also doing is we're kind of combining. Because a lot of the nautical I like is like dark and... Like, I don't like whimsical, nautical. I like dark and demons of the depth. Um, so, <laughs> octopuses and hunted mermaids and whatnot. So, we're also putting that in the gothic horror Poe room. So, which kind of goes with, like, Cthulhu and, like, Lovecraft and all that. Anyway, this is on Murky. 36 count. Two more. I really need to get a copy of your spreadsheet mm -hmm. because I should mark all of the in my inventory mm -hmm. pattern. Which thing. ones I've done or you which ones started. I've started. Yeah, because I mean some I would never mm -hmm. ever stitch, but a lot of the stitching ones, the sewing mm -hmm. ones were ones like, oh yeah, I was gonna do that or the cat ones and it's silly for me mm -hmm. to do the same one when there's a zillion. That well, I'd like to do. I'd rather mm -hmm. choose one that I know you haven't started. Well, and when we do <clears throat> the same stitching, we try to like change it up a little bit. Mm. So like, um, you know, like with the the cross-eyed cricket one, she did it a standard size. Mm. So I'm doing mine small, so that if I end up because, all right, not that I'm gonna necessarily keep every single thing. I'm yes. going to well, but I might gift them. I'm not giving them to Goodwill. Oh my God! She's the one that I'm tells me her. I can I'm do this. Her. I absolutely did. Yes. Um, but yeah. you know, right. like there are right. some that are going to be neat to have displayed together. To be like, look, Jen did it this way. Right. Mom did right. it this way. And so it's harder when we're both like, oh, let's just set it standard with called for. Yeah. And then it's like, okay, they're both really pretty. We're both very neat stitchers, but they pretty much look the same. Right. Right. <laughs> so we do try. We're we're pretty yeah. conscious of that. Well, like I said, if there's some, there's just so many patterns mm -hmm. out there, and you know we buy what we like because we have a collection of mm -hmm. patterns that are never going to get stitched anyway. But I love having all of them to look at and know I could. So it's not like if I see a sewing one from my sewing room that I really like, and you've already done it, that I need to do that one. I, there's another one I can do mm -hmm. that I really like too. What? I don't know what they have. I'm just oh, oh. it's a milk tie. I thought it was a dog. No, it's two little oh my little God. black kittens. Oh my God. <laughs> that are they insane. were crazy last night for hours. I mean running zoomies <laughs> all over the place, up and down and over and it's like one o'clock and it's like one thirty. Well we're sitting like, so our li my living room has it's a wall of windows. And then there's two like that go into our porch, which was a, is an enclosed. I don't know what it is. I don't really understand our house, but it, our our living room wall used to be the outdoor the wall. outdoor wall. 
And so there's windows and there's three panel panels of window. windows. There was a big picture window and mm-hmm. underneath were three panels were mm-hmm. little windows they could open up for ventilation. And so they took out two of them. So it's just a hole. A hole. Big and hole. so I think when the, the family lived here, that was they used to homeschool out in the porch. So it was it got heat out there, it it made airflow and there's air conditioning vents and there's an a, a gas heater, but um so the animals jump through. Well, we're sitting in the living room the other day, and all of a sudden they come jumping from the, the porch back into the living room. And I'm like, what does she have in her mouth? She had a wrapped tampon, like like in the plastic. They had stolen it from somewhere. We have toys everywhere, everywhere, everywhere in this house. They stole a tampon <laughs> and were running around, and that was their toy that they were bringing back in from the porch. <laughs> Prairie Seasons by Prairie Schooler. And this is another one. I have all the pieces cut, uh, ready to go. I'll do them all on the same fabric. It is um, 36 count fawn by Lakeside. And this is Beans Beans by Plum Street referring to coffee beans um oh my goodness kittens i am stitching it on some sort of picture this plus i believe oh no yep i don't know where i am yes 36 count fawn by picture this plus so the other one was fawn by lakeside this one is fawn by picture this plus and we're through another tub. And we're into July. No, nope, we're into August of 2022. Just still 2022. Oh, well, well, I only started two, right, three right, things right. in 2023. Right, so, right. Um, and I haven't decided about this year. I bought the Modern Folk Sal. And I really want to do it. But I also really want to finish some of these. So I have not decided whether I'm going to actually start it but it's a clock and it would look really good on that wall mm. and so I just kind of think maybe I should um I don't know I think you should I think I probably that'll be my one start this year mm. it's 10 10 sections so I could even start it in February if I wanted mm. but I have to get to craft gallery I think the problem was I wasn't sure what colors I wanted to use and I don't want to do a Victorian motto just in case I don't have enough and so I want to make sure I have enough thread so i think i want to buy Mm -hmm. new for it so but i have to go there because i have to get dog's declaration framed because i want it hanging before watson's birthday in february so um anyway we're gonna go stitch she's gonna get some coffee and um we are gonna watch some more 24 bye she's she's just the most cheerful today (laughs) i don't know what's going on with her i'm freezing well we can turn the heat up you have to use your words well it's cold around here than it is in the living room well it is you're right Mm -hmm. so i have lots of blankets that we can pull up okay we looked up Rex last night, just in case anybody was curious, and it does mean king in Latin. I still don't think that's what I'm going to stitch on that block, but I've decided I can stitch that block. Like, I'm okay with it being a king. I just don't think I wanted to say Rex. Um, so I put in some more in the maids and there, and then I was like, maybe, because the pattern is written left side right side and there's but it was one of those where when we scan it the middle blocks are like on two pages you know like Mm -hmm. and so I'm thinking it's probably going to be easiest if I have some sort of like stitching in each block so that I know where to be going like to make sure I'm not putting it in the wrong space not that it really really matters because they're not really in any order but um, so I kind of started to do that and then I kind of, I haven't really found a system for this one yet. Um, 
For somebody that does everything right in a row, one page, you don't go to the next page. I can't believe that you're skipping all over the blocks if you're not finishing one of those little blocks. Well, because time. the block to, to do the rest of this thread, it's like all the way over here. And it's not just like up in the corner. It's like down there. And so I don't want to. I'm not using multiple needles. I'm not going to do it. No, I don't like that system. And I, I do not like multiple needles. No. <laughs> like her thing has thousands of needles on it and then it has three thousands so i pretty much have everything done now except for fill in um i started filling in the clouds up above i have adam is done the the um are you going to change the color of the adam and eve or are you leaving it I have them in. I'm not no, going to change the, it. The, what, the oh, writing. yeah. The writing. But I'll just do that for last. I'm not going to rip out. And mm. ch I want to get everything else stitched. And then I'll do that probably last. Um, Adam's hair is black. So that's all the back stitching of the faces and mm -hmm. stuff. So I'm just saving that. The, this uh, this segment or whatever. But all the, the ground is now all the myriad of color that she had down there is done and I just mm -hmm. have to fill it in. There's a bright green that's right underneath the tree that a section mm -hmm. that has to be filled in that she marked. The rest is gonna be a dark green for all the other holes so it'll be solid down below. So I don't really have that much mm -hmm. more to, no, you'll definitely to go on it. All the apples are done. The butterfly mm -hmm. needs to be filled in and then the antennas and mm -hmm. but that's black. That's why I'm just saving that. So yeah, it's looking good. Okay. Some more whips. Where are we? Out the rest. This is Apples of My Youth. Or Apples of Youth by Out Forest. And I am stitching it on Alien from the Moon, 36 count by X Jude. It's a really interesting color. It's got like greens and mm -hmm. I think it's pretty. A little different. And I'm doing it in gray and gold. This is, I've stitched the coffee is a cup of bliss, or coffee is, yeah, a cup of bliss. So I'm doing wine is bottle poetry, and it will go to mom, because I'm not so much of a wine drinker anymore. Um, and this is on not 36 count dove. I have no idea what this fabric is, because this is not dove, so... I feel like our lighting is bad. We may have to shut those curtains. Oh. Or at least this one. Yeah, I think that'll help. Sorry you didn't see the other ones. <laughs> but well. There's only one. This is a biggie. And they send. Mm. Love. Don't have too much done on it though. Stitching it on vintage country mocha. It looks like. Yep, yeah, 40 count. It's a very long one. And I have this much done so far. This is a sampler for Christmas by Nikki's Creation. I'm 
stitching this on 40 count maple sugar by Lakeside. So this is Mary Mary Needle Maker, Needle Worker, um, and it's by Lindy Stitches. I'm doing the dark conversion, so um, that's why I just have a little picture here. And I'm stitching it on, I think, Shadow? Yeah, 40 Count Shadow by Picture This Plus. Basket of Jacks by Not Forgotten Farm. Stitching on Broomstick 36 Count by X Jude. This is the October sampler and I'm doing, it's by Prairie Schooler, but I'm just doing the animals. Have you stitched the other one? No. I You've done not. some of those. Yes, but I had, didn't do, I haven't done October, but okay. I've done a fall one, but maybe it's November that I did. Okay. I um, well, I'm stitching the, the blocks on Tycho, Tycho 36 count by Picture This Plus. The little owls down here are cute too. Ravens. Ravens. Crows. Whatever. Yeah. Oh, sure. They're in there. Oh, okay. This one, if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen me stitching so far this year. And this will be hopefully finished by the end of next year. Um, or by the end of the year. This is Shores of Hawk Run. So I decided that when I look at this piece, it makes me think of the poem Annabelle Lee um, by Edgar Allan Poe. And since we just adopted our puppy, and that is her name, I've decided that we are. I'm going to rechange it so that it represents the poem more in its text and um, the placement of the blocks. So I have rearranged all of the blocks. Um, the first one worked, so that one is, the lighthouse is gonna be up there and I will keep the uh, middle block the same, but um, it's gonna end with the, this block will be down here and the moon will be next to it. So I have it all recharted so that it tells the story. Um, there's only two blocks, I believe, this block, no. This block, I'm not going to add any text to. And then the one with the fish, I won't add any text to. So they will just kind of be moved to be um, surrounding the middle block. So for instance, this one is next. So I will be working on this block because I go down. So next month I'll do this one because it's really going to go here in my piece. <laughs> Makes sense in my head. But I have the beginning of it is many and many a year ago in a kingdom by the sea. Um, and so it's it's not the full poem, um, but it will hopefully tell the, it kind of tells the story, mm -hmm. right? She yeah. kind of checked it for me. Um, yeah, and I'm really stitching it on a 40 count autumn gold with DMC. And goal is to finish a block a month. This is the Bitter Flower Sampler by Birds of a Feather. I'm stitching it on, it looks like, Vintage Country Mocha, 40 count. Looks like just, oh no, called for colors. And 
and Tea Keeper by Kathy Barrick. Stitching this on 40 count oaken by Picture This Plus. So, have you started using your iPad yet? Or no? Not yet. So we got Spooky Countdown by Primitive Hair. We're in September now. Stitching this on Murky by Picture This Plus 36 count. Um, Buzz Off by Plum Street. I love that little pro. Stitching this on Straw by Weeks Dye Works, 36 count, and it's supposed to be the Zweigart version. Don't currently drink beer anymore, but um, I did for a really long time, so I was very drawn to this piece by Ink Circles which is 99 bottles. This is a fun stitch. Like, and I have a lot in there. Um, so I was outlining all the bottles so that I could go in and just know that I could fill in with whatnot. But it is just, it's a fun stitch. I really am enjoying it. And I'm stitching it on 36 count ale. I think. Yep, I picture this plus, which I think is called for. A Merry Christmas by Lottie Da. Stitching on 40 count pecan butter by Lakeside. Couple more. I don't have a picture for this one. Um, I don't have, oh, I do, sorry. Just kidding. Autumn ABCs by Little House Needleworks. I've done the sewing ABCs and I'm stitching it on 36 count fawn by Picture This Plus. This one, I made a mistake when I cut the linen and had it written down because the chart, this is uncharted linen. Um, so if you're stitching this, be careful because the stitch count on the back says it's 1,000 or 13,197 wide by 97 high. And so I just, um, I assumed, and I totally, it was me, I just made that assumption that because it was 13197 by 97, that the 97 just got duplicated. So I assume that the stitch count was 131 by 97. It is actually 197 by 97. So I had gotten a bunch done on this one and realized I wasn't gonna have enough room. So I had to restart it. Don't make assumptions, count. <laughs> So now I am stitching it. I only stitched a little bit on it, but I'm doing it on a smaller count fabric, I believe. So I think it is um, for, no, I don't have what this is now. Written down. Do I, do I have to make an order? 
46 count affogato by fiber on a limb. I'm totally probably demolishing that word because I don't read phonetically. Sleepy Hollow by Liz Matthews. Hello from Liz Matthews. This was one I was like, didn't I finish it? No, I worked on it a lot though. Um, and I'm stitching it on 36 count fawn by Picture This Plus. This was, when I was talking about the Barbara Anna, this was the piece that I bought the, um, that cool fabric for. And it's this Nantucket Broom Ride by um, Not Forgotten Farm, which I absolutely love this piece. Um, and this fabric is perfect for mm -hmm. it. So... It is Midnight Ride by X Jude. And our last one for this section, so we're in Halloween, we're in October, and when I did my October starts for 222, everything was a Halloween start or somehow related to Halloween. So it still fit all the categories, but it was gonna be some sort of Halloween theme as well. So this is uh, Tombstone Mansion by Chessie and Me. And that was my house start, I think. And I'm stitching this on 36 count maple sugar by Lakeside. So that is where we're at for now. We have, I think, two more buckets. Um, yeah, we've gone through a bunch of these. We've done mm -hmm. pretty good. Um, so we are gonna go stitch some more, I think. Yes. And we'll be back in a bit. Bye. We just finished three videos and she looks at me and she goes, let me just ask you this. Do you want to finish yes. this? And I'm like, what do you mean? Or do you want to be done? And I'm like, we have three more episodes. I know that, but you're yawning over there. And I thought if you're tired, Brenda can finish it with you. We're going to finish. Did some more. I did down the third box. And kind of got around. Well. Did you finish it? Not yet. I have just under the tree, there's a hole. It's a bright green that mm -hmm. has to be filled in. That, and I have to change the Adam and Eve up top. That's the only things I have left, so... I'll finish in the next episode. Everything else, the faces are on. Back stitching's done. Very good. Antennas are done. And I have to go and do around the box, put because I only have. Oh, they're you know, not all crossed. Yeah. They're not all crossed. Yeah. They just have the half crosses, so I could finish that up or do another one. Looks good. So, anyway. Very good. Um, we are going to, though, finish the whips now, the whip parade. So we're going to go through box eight didn't have as many in it. So we're going to go ahead and show you all the rest of my whips right now. Um, so Get Annabelle ready. is wandering. So I'm sure you can hear the little clickety clack. <laughs> um, this is uh, Pineberry Lane Fancy Black at T for Two. And I am stitching it on 40 count sampler khaki by X Jude. I love this one. I love this whole series. I like Penberry Lane. Penberry. Mm -hmm. um, Cow Trio or Cow Pile by Plum Street. Uh, some girls and I at work, cows are somehow our thing, and I have a cow tattoo, and um, kind of represents my journey with them and everything that happened since I started working with them. Um, so I'm actually stitching one for each of us. So I'm kind of, they're all on the same, but I'm 
process and rather than stitch one and be done and then stitch it again i wanted to just kind of have them all going at the same time i like that fabric too mm -hmm. it on. is um 37 count wild honey by legacy Linen. This is um, Ravens, Pumpkins, and Cats, Oh My, by Keratex. I am stitching this on just 40 count natural because it is all filled in. And there's like the chevrons on the background. I think I'm doing a conversion. Yep, I did a floss conversion for it. Maybe, oh no. Forest Queen by um, Barbara Anna. So we're in the October starts. I said everything was related to Halloween. So this was my, um, she's dressed in costume. Was my, <laughs> this is Halloween. <laughs> um, stitching this on Anthracite by Zweigart. Don't have much done on that at all. This is Stacy Nash Halloween Jack sewing roll. I am stitching this on Tin Roof 40 count by weeks. Let's fold it over so there is more fabric. This is Merrily Wind Farms, Leah Grinnell. Started this during a marathon. I am stitching it on 40 count sand dune by Lakeside. And when I had opened up my pattern, it was really hard to read, but I reached out to the designer and she sent me a PDF of it, which was so nice. This was the project that got me stitching from my iPad. Christmas Witch by Kathy Barrick because I'll give you a glimpse at the pattern um, only because you're not going to be able to read it because I couldn't. <laughs> it is so tiny um, and I've my eyes are bad but with my glasses I do pretty good. I don't use a magnifier. I don't do anything but man that one. is a tiny one. So this was my Christmas start for October since it's a witch wearing a Christmas hat. And I'm stitching it on, it looks like Autumn Gold. Yep, 40 count Autumn Gold by Lakeside. This was the stitching start for October, which was the Good Stitching Witch by Stacy Nash. I am stitching this on 36 Count Legacy by Picture This Plus. This one I worked on when Mom and I were in the hotel for our marathon, Halloween Parcheesi by um, Primitive Needle out of print pattern was shared with me by my friend Laura. This is on 36 count age saffron by Dames of the Needle. I've got a lot done, done on this one, yeah. It's just some fill in and orange, I think. This is Alphabet by Hands to Work. What was that? that? <laughs> I am stitching this on 40 count, we're gonna assume, vintage mocha, country vintage mocha, whatever vintage country mocha. I don't know which cat that was. I know, can you pause it? 
Yeah, I'm going to pause. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Um, I believe that was Lilith having a moment. I have seen all four cats, though, so <laughs> not sure who decided to yowl. This is Casting a Spell by Blackbird Designs, and I'll be doing using mom's <laughs> finishing technique yeah, or you have the box to expertise or abilities or whatever to finish and so just doing them all on individuals so I have some of that one done and I have some of this one done um, I think it's just a what is it just a scrap um, casting yeah I just have down a scrap I think it looks like 32 count I think. I think it had to be. Yeah, I think we, we had figured out for the finishing. Oh, it's one strand. It's not 32 count. Unless that's you've not got one two strand. Strands. That's two strands. Uh, I guess probably 32 count. In order to fit in the box, you had to do it in a certain size. Yeah. This is Schoolgirl Samplings by Blue Ribbon. And I'm doing this one. I was going to do the needle book, but then I got confused because it had owls and fish. And I was a little confused, but it makes sense in the grand scheme of because it's all. I don't really know. Because this really has fish too on the outer, um, which I like the whale type stuff. So um, this is on 32 count. 32 count? count? It says 36. Okay, 36 count days gone by. By, um, Dixie I don't know. Sample. Dixie Sample. Oh. Dixie Sample. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> Apparently my, my spreadsheet is lacking on that one. This was a premature start. It is Mermaid's Folly by Courtney Collection. Stitching with a big old hank of mm. stuff from um, Leo like and Roxy. Um, holy crap. Yeah. I think you'll have enough. That's a fun stitch. Um, and it's on 40 count up in the attic by Fox and Rabbit. Harvest Keeper by Plum Street. I had been using this for a different project that I abandoned. Um, so on the side it has that, but um, it is 40 count, I think Wren. Yep, I picture this plus. This is another Chessie and Me. This is All Hallows Eve. I've had this pattern for forever. So it was time to actually stitch it. And this is on 36 count murky. I picture this plus. Patchwork Pumpkin by Blackbird Designs. This one's almost done too, I think. And this is on Baby Sheep by X Jude, 30, 40 count. Is the Quaker Crow by Work Basket? I like this. Mm -hmm. I like this series. Thing. I do too. Yeah, 
This is on um, 40 Count Ale by Picture This Plus. This is one of my favorite that I can't wait to finish. I have two of this series stitched up um, uh, that I did on 32 Count Lamb's Will, but I'm doing two, the other two on 36 Count fawn by lakeside so this is mary margaret i've done elizabeth and i've done sarah um no molly I, no is her name molly yeah she looks like wednesday adams This is Give Thanks by Threadworks Primitive. Little pin keep. There were some specialty stitches in this that I will not be doing. <laughs> Stitching this on 36 count graham cracker. Nope, 36 count tea set by graham cracker. Drawn thread, good tidings. I'm doing a, I think mostly conversion of colors. Yep. And I think I did a good job. That red. Oh, I love that red. It's a bell swa. And it's on 36 count broomstick by X June. This is the Alphabet Sampler by Lila's Studio. I'm stitching this on Ancient Ruin by X Jude, and I really like the floss on it. There's a lot of back stitching. A lot, a lot oh, of back yeah. stitching. But it's so pretty because it's mm -hmm. so very lacy looking and very like delicate. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're on our last bin, which is not a full bin. I don't know what I just dropped, but it's fine. I think if you just scoot it back that way. Okay, we're almost there. This is Plum Street, and it is sweater weather. Not sure why the pattern printed like that. <laughs> Pretty cute. Sure. Um, I do these on, I saw it, fell in love with one of them done on little, like one over one, and I didn't want to do it over one, so I'm stitching it on 56 count up in the attic by Fox Rabbit, Fox and Rabbit. And I just think it's adorable. Mm. And Watson was half dachshund. So we'll finish these dachshund things up for her and then switch to embracing more of her corgi side. <laughs> <laughs> Stitch every day. This is one mom has stitched, so I made the choice to go small with this one too. Um, so this is on 52 count Pearl Barley by Lakeside. Don't have much done on that one. I thought it would be a cute pillow for in the stitching room. Mm -hmm. I did this in a marathon one time. Did you? Mm -hmm. Pear Orchard Farm by Carriage House. I did a conversion on this one, and I'm stitching it on 36 Count Prairie Grass by Seraphim.
Homespun Elegance, Delivering the Peppermints. I did also start and finish delivering the coffee beans from this series um, since then. This is on 36 Count Light Brown Sugar by Color and Cotton. Close, close, close. Yuletide Shanty by Plum Street. I will not be finishing this as a drum. Um, I have all the pieces of fabric to do all the parts though. And I'm stitching the wrap around with the whale right now. And this is the 40 count vintage flagstone by like Lakeside. <laughs> she tried to grab my finger to put it in my bag. This is Christmas is Coming by Barbara Anna. This is on 36 Count Barnwood by Picture This Plus. I've had it for years. Crow number five by Kathy Barrett. And I'm stitching this on 40 count Heartland by Picture This Plus. This is Red Berries by Modern Folk. Stitching this on 40 count shadow by Picture This Plus. I really like it on the dark. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Another one from the Beggars series. This is Beggars Christmas by Fedworks Primitive. I had showed the Valentine one earlier. Stitching this on 35 count straw by R and R. So these were obviously my December starts because most of them are Christmas themed. This is Peace on Earth by Prairie Moon. This is a big one. I am stitching it. It's a really pretty color. It's Clay Pot by Lakeside. So it's very pinkish, but I felt like it gave like a sunset mm -hmm. feel. So, it's deceiving that it doesn't look like it's I know it doesn't that look like it's that big, but it is big. Picture. This is a Quaker Christmas, the first one I have stitched songs of the season, um, and that is finished and done. Um, so, I'm doing this one. It is on, I think, Navy Bean. No, Bisque, 36 count Bisques by Lakeside. And I'm doing um, several different colors. So I'm not doing it all as a monochromatic. There's an alphabet that goes throughout it. I'm not stitching the alphabet that's in it. Um, it just seems out of place to me, which is rare for me not to stitch an alphabet because I like alphabets. Letters. Oh, that's that's a blank page. Letters for Santa. By who's that? With thy needle. Right? Yeah, with I thy needle, so. Brenda Gervais. I'm stitching this one on thirty-six count meadow rue. Ru. 
by Lakeside. It's another Nikki's Creation Embroidery Christmas. And this is on 40 count straw flower by Lakeside. Mm -hmm. This was my last 222 start. Halloween at Hollyberry Farm by Stacy Nash. Absolutely love this fabric. It is, um, what is it? Oh, it's not. What's the Peddler's Blend by Dames of the Needle? 36 count. A very cool piece of fabric. So this was my 2023 New Year New Start, and I thought was my only or one of two whips, but I actually had three. Um, so this is Stitcher's Resolution by Heartstrings, and I'm stitching it on 40 count Finnegan, Finian by Seraphim. I do like Seraphim. I was in a Fabric of the Month club for them too, so I get some. Or I have a bunch. I stopped because I hadn't been doing starts, so. And then I apparently also started this one. I don't really remember starting it, but it, I think it was during the, mar the first marathon in 2023. So la -dee -da Alphabet. And I believe this is 40 count pie crust by graham cracker, maybe. I really like the colors mm -hmm. that red. You I think I changed colors? it. I reversed it. Or oh, I I yeah. wanted red. Yeah, I and love I'm doing the red the, accent on that, yeah. especially on this color. Mm -hmm. I vaguely remember doing this. I I really don't. Um I'm not, I'm not sure. Those are my whips. All but two. I have Fancy and ABC, which is at my mom's house. And I have a uh, berry bowl that is at my mom's house. I could take a picture of each of them and you could insert them if you wanted to. Oh, that would work. Sure. Well, see where we're at. So we have that. And you've got that. That progress so we can see it. Yeah. Um, so I have it as a marker for... Mm -hmm when I get some other stuff done. So we're going to go stitch for three more episodes and we will be back to end this up. And uh, if I'm feeling ambitious, I might film my finishes tomorrow, but I make no guarantees. So if there's only one video up, that's it. So, and I said it on here, which means I won't do it because whenever I actually say I'm going to do something on here, then it jinxes it. So we'll see. We did it. Yes, we did. We blew a circuit at one point. Uh, fuse, <laughs> fuse blew, but we didn't lose power and all the wind. Yeah. Well, and neither did Dad at his house Which or Grandma at hers. So. It was very good. Yeah. So, um, I don't know if I'll be able to actually get this done this year, only stitching on it with Marathon. Yeah, I, I can't get my. I mean, so. I I just didn't think it was going to be that big that it would yeah. be such an issue. Like, it was a lot slower going than I thought. The grids took forever. Mm -hmm. They they took forever. Mm -hmm. But even so, I don't know. I don't know what my plan's going to be if I want to. I think we need to try to do some like mini marathons, yeah. half day marathons or okay. 12 hour marathons yeah. or something. Maybe. Okay. Well, I got mine all done and I started on the next you one, did. which will be Noah's Ark, but I changed the lettering, got mm -hmm. everything filled in. Looks really good. And it's done. So I started, like I said, on mm -hmm. next one's Noah's Ark. So, yeah, but that was just in the last hour that I got to that mm -hmm. point, really. So, 
it took me a full marathon to do that. Yeah. So, I don't know. I'm sitting trying to contemplate my whole stitching plan for the year now, mm -hmm. too. And, like, try, now having been back through all my whips, I'm kind of like, hmm, what is my process yeah. going to be? And, like, seeing some of them, it's like, okay, there really isn't a lot done on that. Or yeah. I really... Or there is a lot done on that. Yeah. And I'm just trying to think how I can maybe tie it into, like, the bucket lists. Mm. For the, I, the planner this year is bucket list themes. So each month has a January is health and wellness. And mm. the acrostic relates to the theme. And then mm. so I'm thinking maybe I can pull out projects that relate to that theme. Like if it has a fruit mm. on it, it could be health and wellness. You know, like so mm -hmm. that's any pear thing. That's any, yeah. I don't know. Sometimes when there's just too many, pro like so many... It's like we were talking about it when you go to watch TV and it's like there's nothing on and you're going through Netflix and you're going through Hulu and right. you're going through Prime and you're you going through Paramount much, yeah. and you're going through Max, you know. It's like there is there is stuff, but it's you can't Every settle moment, on anything yeah. Yeah. Um, because it's just too yeah. many choices. Mm -hmm. And so I, I almost feel like I'm there, but yeah. I don't want to do a random. Mm -hmm. Like I'm not... I'm not to that point again. Like yeah. last year I was had a steady flow of finishes, but then was like, I'll just do random for the last half of the year. But the planner was random too. Mm -hmm. So that kind of right. encouraged me to do that. So I don't know. Well, yeah, time to think. I know. Well, and I just, I guess for me with my, like, I don't know what life's going to be like every, you know, I'm waiting right. for medical stuff. I'm waiting for all that. So it's like a little daunting to be like, yeah, I'm going to plan this. And then all of a sudden, oh, I have to have surgery. or Oh, I have to have this. Or yeah. I don't know. But I'm tired of living life waiting for that to happen. Right. So I'm, t I'm not happy about not making plans and not mm. or saying, I don't know if I can buy tickets for that event because I might mm. not. Like, it's mm. just stupid. You can't live like that. Yeah. So, I don't know. It's cold. It is Brandon's cold. gonna run mom home, so yeah. uh, dad doesn't have to come out in this. And I am going to babysit Annabelle while he does. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, we will be back at some point. Yeah. And I might be back before then. I might not. You yeah. know, it's what it I'll is. Poker. Because mm -hmm. now I want to get all your finishes because I'm all gung ho to get the inventory thing. Oh, yeah. The inventory thing done up with all these charts we have mm -hmm. to know exactly which ones we've done mm -hmm. and have started or have finished and get them marked. So, yeah, that yeah. makes sense. So, okay. Okie doke. Thanks for sticking around with yeah. us and uh, let us know how your marathons went. Okay. okay. Bye. Bye.